Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Investor Expo show for April 9th. My name is Anna, and I'll be your host today. We are having a great lineup of four speakers for you. Norman Hallett, Larry Gaines, Joshua Martinez, and Marina Villatoro. Please take a look at your GoToWebinar control panel. Into the questions box, you will be able to ask any questions you want during the speaker's presentation. This session will be recorded and sent to your email. Just in case if you didn't get the recording, just simply go to uh, YouTube, type in Investor Expos, and here you will be able to find uh, the video from today's show and the previous ones. I would like to begin and bring to the show our first guest, Norman Hallett. Good morning, Norman. Good morning, Anna. Thanks for having me again today, and so thanks for letting me kick this thing off today. <laughs> Always a pleasure, Norman. Um, what are we going to talk about today? Well, today we're going to talk about hitting the ground running uh, with your... I, I, I want to show people something that I learned from a, uh, a mentor of mine years ago uh, to, to give you an idea of how to set up a plan and uh, this is there's no better time to set up a plan than right now so uh for the post coronavirus situation so let me uh let me go to a, are you are, are you seeing my screen right now yes desktop okay let me then um let me then give you this and as long as you can see this i'm on my way can you see the full screen Yep, looks good to me. I will get back to you around 8.45 Pacific. Very good. Thank you very much. And thanks, everybody, for taking your valuable time and being here today. Um, there's a tremendous lineup here. Uh, and, and really, uh, the fact that, um, that Anna keeps these talks at 45 minutes, uh, it makes a whole lot of sense because I think the shorter, it, it kind of makes us deliver the same stuff, but in a more focused way. And so I'm, I'm excited about, I'm always excited about um, uh, talking for Anna. Uh, and I think you'd get that same agreement between Larry, Larry who follows me, you're gonna learn a lot about options. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's really very good at these kinds of markets. He'll show, butterf teach about butterflies and so on, but in a way that uh, approaches these markets. You got Joshua Martinez, this guy's a strategy guy. He's, uh, you know, he's had big winners. I think uh, you're going to enjoy Joshua. And of course, Marina. I mean, gosh, uh, she's great at identifying high probability trades. She's going to show you that today. But if I know Marina, it's going to be simple and easy to understand, which is really what I love about Marina. So if you can stay for this whole thing, I know I sound like I'm with the firm, but I'm not. I just, I'm just, I'm always excited about presenting to Anna. Um, is that me? I'm not sure. Okay, and that sounds, sounds like uh, Wales a meeting. Um, in any event, let me uh, let me start by uh, um, inviting you to make sure whether you get anything out of this talk, and I hope that you do. Uh, I, I I want you to have my book, my ebook. It's what got me on the map almost about 15 years ago. Mental fitness for traders. It's been updated, but it's still. Uh, it, it, it's still being downloaded uh, heavily. It's we're, we're probably up to 230, 240,000 copies. But there is the link. There is the link. TheDisciplineTrader.com forward slash MF4T. Okay, that's uh, MF4T, Mental Fitness for Traders. So just write that down for now. Uh, when this is all over, go ahead and, and download that book. I want you to have that book. I, I want to make a statement up front to you that's that I think is is important to make. And that's that, uh, <clears throat> I think we have um, over 100 people here on the call on this uh, presentation. And and I, I it's it's a fact. I mean, I, I can, it's probably the, it, it is the best bet I could make in a market or in life. And that is that 90 of you, 90 of you 100 people are going to lose in your trading. You're, you're not going to be successful traders. And I just want to say that up front. Um, and, and I don't want to say that to depress you because there are 10% that are doing well. And that's probably uh, you know, true of many vocations, but it's markedly true 
and, uh, and dramatically true in, in the business of trading. And uh, no matter how many trading systems, I mean, whether you, whether you grab Larry, Larry's material on options or Marina or, or Joshua, any people, any person that knows what they're doing and knows how to trade and gives you what you need to trade, it's not going to do you any good unless you have the mental and emotional capacity to run that system. And, and Larry and Joshua Marina, they will be the first ones to tell you that. And I'm, I, I'm here to tell you that I believe that, and I know for a fact from people that come to me um, over these 15 years of helping traders with their mental and emotional issues, I can tell you that 90% of those that come to me have little or no respect before they came to me for the mental and emotional issues. They did, you, you may say that you do, and that you have a positive attitude and let's go ahead and trade. But things come up as a trader and you need to be able to have a totally disciplined mindset so that you don't jump trades, you don't revenge trades, you don't, you, uh, you, you, you don't hesitate to pull the trigger, you don't, you're not overcome by fear and, and greed, which can be worse for some traders, you're not over trading. You know, all of these things just done once in the course of a month will will drain your account uh, to zero. And this is what happens to 90% of the traders. So if you're sitting in a room and there's, with, with, with 10 people in a circle, if you're going to win, it means that the other nine are going to lose. That is just a fact. And I am here to tell you that I am so glad that you are here. And I'm so, I'm so happy to tell you the facts because nobody is gonna tell you this. They'll all, they'll all give it lip service we are here to help you and we we're doing it in a way that uh, i don't know if you hear that marina but there's a kind of craziness in that in any event let's get going around the noise okay so i just wanted to let you know that i want you to stay for these great people who have great information look you can have a terrific trading but you don't even need a terrific trading plan all you need is a, is a is a plan that over time will make you money whether it's five percent ten percent twenty percent a year doesn't have to be one of these dramatic plans but it will they'll, they'll all do you no good without the mental and emotional capacity to trade and on the other hand um you know you can have if you have the mental and emotional capacity then you can trade just about any account any decent trading plan successfully so um Let's get going with this presentation because this is important. We're in a situation right now where you really want to hit the ground running with your with with a a, a post coronavirus plan as a trader. And I, I think it's important that you that you focus on on the good that's coming up that is a that is about to be here rather than the struggle that, that we're going through now. This will pass. Although I, in my life, and I've been around six plus decades, I, I'm, I'm letting you know that this is a first for me, this kind of stick to your house and don't go out and just to save lives. It makes total sense. I'm happy to do it, and I'm sure you're happy to do it too. Uh, but it is, it, it is challenging, and this is a really great time to do some planning. Now, I'm trading, and I think you're trading too, more, more than likely, but this is also a good time to sit and trade and you'll have some extra time usually this is a good time for making a personal post coronavirus plan so let let me give you some tips on how i've done it and how i was taught to do it first of all let me give you a quick um review of who i am this that's me that's my wife tisha who's really the heart and soul of the company she's the one that that really does our coaching along with me on the mental and emotional issues of trading as well as uh, as, as well as our subconscious trainings that we're famous for. Well, this is a little bit about me. Uh, I've had 39 years experience uh, in trading. I've written several books about trading plans and keeping your losses down. And I've written a, a inspirational quote book. Um, uh, I've, I've written some and many, many articles and so on. I've worked for Payne Weber, so I know, um, I know how to uh, get on the phone and get people to buy mutual funds. Uh, but that's not exciting and probably not worth most of our time here. Uh, but I did learn a lot about how institutions work. I was 
uh, a regional vice president for International Trading Group, which was one of the largest option firms in the country back in the 80s. Uh, that's why I know why Larry Gaines, is, is, uh, who's going to talk about options, really knows what he's talking about, because I know options too, and, uh, and so does Larry. So stay for his talk after mine. The Hallett Group is a group that I formed to manage money, um, um, several million for uh, qualified clients. I did it through my own IB, the Hallett Commodities. This is all in the past for the last 15 years, actually since 2000 and then more so in the last 15 years, I have focused exclusively on helping traders with their discipline because nobody is giving it the, the attention that it deserves. And then people, traders with great talent and great abilities otherwise, and all of the necessary qualities to be a good, not a good, but a great trader are failing. And it's because they are not paying attention to the mental and emotional issues and, and, and spending time on that in order to make that happen for you. Tisha is really the conduit for making all that happen. This is how we do our one-on-one -on -one training, or actually two-on-one, -on -one, Tisha and I, and you on in a room. We do that. We also have our Discipline Trader Mastery Program. That's an online type of course. Tisha's written several books in all kinds of genres. We've, we've, we've come out with, uh, you can see in the lower right, we had a set of six or nine different softwares. We helped go professional golfers, professional tennis players, uh, students, we've helped school districts and so on with our mental training for all aspects of life. But again, in the last 15 years, we are focusing specifically on traders. Uh, Tisha has, ex she's, she's graced the cover of many different magazines. That's one in a hypnotist magazine, but she's of course much more than a hypnotist. She's lectured in countries uh, and cities. I've listed some of them. Let's get going. All right. Here is the question that is the heart of what I want to, of, of this discussion right here. Dan Sullivan is a person that I used to pay tens of thousands of dollars a year to coach me. I did it for four or five years straight. Um, haven't been doing it for the last few years, but, uh, but, but for those four or five years, Dan was very influential in the way I operated my entrepreneurial businesses. Dan is an entrepreneurial coach. And but, and but we as traders, hey, we are entrepreneurs. So th just about everything that he taught me, and uh, I used to fly up there every quarter, once a quarter with 40, 49 others that paid the same kind of money. And we'd sit there and Dan would teach us processes. I'm going to give you one of those processes today, okay? And this process was called, the, this. he calls it, um, <laughs> I guess you couldn't figure a better name, the Dan Sullivan question. All right, let me give you the question. All right, if we are having this discussion, I'm asking you a question now. If we are having this discussion three months from today and you are looking back over those three months, what has to have happened in your life, both personally and professionally, for you to feel happy with your progress as a trader. I'm going to read that again. If we were having this discussion three months from today, and you were looking back over those three months, what has to have happened in your life, both personally and professionally, for you to feel happy with your progress as a trader? Okay, I'm going to let you ponder that just for a second. And, and, but before you ponder it completely, I want to point out a couple of things. I'm gonna break down the question. If we are having this discussion three months from today and you are looking back over those three months and it's, poor, it's, it's important not to sit here on, uh, on the ninth day of April, 2020 and look and project what you believe is going to happen. What I want you to do is vision that it's already happened, the things that, 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 need, that you need to do to make you over those three months to make you uh, happy about what you're, what, what, where you, where you ended up. So you want to vision where you're ending up first, and then look back over those three months. Very important to, very important to own those, to to own those differences, to own those projections, to own what is, where you want to be, and then move back and and look back on it. It's a very important concept. As you work with this question, not sure what that sound is, Anna, but uh, it's uh, it sounds like it's from outer space. 
which I don't mind. I'm ready to go. Anyway, uh, here's the other uh, second part of the question. What has to have happened in your life, both personally and professionally? Now, it's hard to separate. You, as a trader, you, when you close that door and you sit down as a trader, you need to be a trader. You need to take all of your the parts of your life away as you trade and focus on what's in front of you in the charts. But when you're doing your planning, you know, you have to plan in a way that's both personally and professionally satisfied, even as a trader. It, because if if you know that uh, that your significant other is not really happy with the fact that you're trading, uh, no matter how you try, that's not that's going to affect your trading. You need to handle that. You need to get the support of those around you in order to be. That could be one of the things that you you'd like to accomplish over the next three months. And when you look back at it, that you have satisfied that situation with your significant other. So it's important to couch this question as far as both being both personal and professionally. Okay. And for and the end of the question is for you to feel happy with your progress as a trader. Look, you, we, we want to be happy. We, we want to be satisfied. Okay. But you, and you also want to, you also want to focus this exercise on what you need to be able to focus totally on your charts and in your, and, and on your trading process, on your trading plan as a trader. Okay. So you, you want to be happy. And of course, you'll be happy if you're going to be a successful trader. But what does that mean? It means that there are certain things between now and the next three months that if you if if you can vision yourself in the next three months owning those things that are going to make you feel happy with your progress as a trader and look back and, and continue to identify those situations and prioritize them, which we're going to do, you're going to have a plan of attack that is really going to work for you. OK, so let's look at the question again. OK, if we are having this discussion three months from today, so now you've placed yourself in the future. Now you're looking back. If we were having this discussion three months from today and you were looking back over those three months, what has to have happened in your life, both personally and professionally, for you to feel happy with your progress as a trader? OK, I'd like I'd like at this point for. Uh, if, if there's a chat section here, and if you're, if you would be so kind as to what, what is popping up in your mind? What's the first thing that pops up in your mind? Just give it to me, and I won't name. I'm, I'll make it anonymous as I, as I read it out. Uh, but, but please share with me what's the first thing to pop up in your mind, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm just waiting for one. I've been kicked out of the webinar twice now. Okay. Well, uh, if you were, uh, <laughs> well, that's not going to, that's not going to help. I'm sure Anna will take care of that, but you're here now. So I'm telling, I'm asking you right now, what, what, what is the first thing that pops up in your mind when you ask yourself that question, making more, you want to make more winning trades. Okay. You, you want to make more trading. Trading will be my main source of income. That's what you uh, see. That's a terrific one. OK, let whoever answered uh, trading. Let, let me work with you on this one just for a second. Trading will be my main source of income. When you say trading will be my main source of income. Can you expand on that a little? The person who wrote that. Just take a second and expand on it a little. Okay, I'm just waiting for a, a response there. If everybody would just hold back and let the person who who, who said, my wife stopped asking me how I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the same person, but um, is that the same person? Trading will be my main source of income. Why do I keep getting, I'm not sure why I get keep getting kicked out. Okay, it's hard to tell that, but let me go on with the presentation because I think there's some, I, I asked that question to dig a little, why do I, uh, the, why I keep, uh, I wanna, I, I asked that because there's a, a, let's see, running demo brokers successfully, not wanting to go live. Um, okay, there are, I'm not sure if that's the same person, but I wanna give you a technique so that you just don't accept your first answer. And this is a sales technique that I learned years ago. We used it in Payne Weber. We used it all kinds to uncover the truth 
from clients who were trying to discuss with us what they wanted in life and so that we can develop portfolios for them and so on. So I'm asking you again with the with the question the, with if you were looking back three months from now, okay, what would have to have happened personally and professionally for you to be feel satisfied uh, with your with with yourself as a trader, okay? And whatever you answered, you need to do you need to what do what they call and understand the truth has layers okay you need to get to the deep truth of core when you and when you answer that question so hopefully you've listed one or two things as the answer to that question and i want you to use what we call the reversing technique and it's a technique that you can't see coming if why would i ask it to you so i'm hoping it's as effective to you when you ask it to yourself okay uh now First, you ask a question and get the answer. I just did that. I just gave you Dan Sullivan's question, and you've just written down several answers. Okay. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is reverse those answers to yourself by taking the last part of the answer and turning it into a question. I just did with that with one of the answers, with one of the answers that we got. Okay. Here's somebody that says, I'm facing a dismissing situation. Oh, uh, that has that's a that's a different situation let me see if i can uh, get another question here just to give you an example okay same person again running demo brokers successfully um so here i ask some somebody uh, said he's trying to uh let's see uh it was training as the main source of my income and when i asked if they could and i repeated that question to him trading is can you can you give me a little bit more detail on it and uh, running demo brokers successfully and then want to go live? So there it is. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now all of a sudden you can. What you really want to happen when you answer that question is that you you need to set up a demo account. You need to trade that demo account successfully. And now and 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 now and then you want to go live. So I would take that first part of the. Of the of the of the next layer answer running demo brokers successfully okay and i would then use another reverse on myself okay which is using a, another clarification or term and i'm going to give you a couple here okay now i gave you and and now i would say to you and or which means so if you were saying if i if you answered my first reversal question what do you mean by that when you say you want to be a successful trader three months from now you you, you said running a broker, it starts with running a demo broker successfully, I would say, which means, and I, I can't go back and forth with the chat, but you may answer something like, I need to set up a, a demo account, or I need to start keeping track of my demo account like I would a real account. And then I would say, and, and then you would say, and then after I have a success rate of 8% of, um, of, of in a month, I'm ready to go live. Now you have a plan, and the way you have a plan was not accepting the first answer that you gave yourself. It was using reversals, a reversing technique, and taking the end of the question and asking it to back to yourself, or using words like and, which means, et cetera. and there's another one that I'm sure, um, and, which means, that's interesting. Tell me more. Of course, it'd be interesting to say that to yourself. Well, I understand about myself, but let me expand. I love the if you can continue to reverse your answer and you'll get more detail and more specific actions that you can use in order to prioritize it and make your plan. Is everybody kind of getting this? Can you give me a little a chat action here? Are you kind of getting what I'm talking about here? Can, are you are you getting this reverse and how to get to the truth? Okay, I see you all good. Okay, excellent, great, great, great. All right, let me go on. Okay, and now what I like to say is when you say blank, when you say you want to be a more successful trader, can you clarify? Okay, and if somebody says I want to, if if one if your thing was that I want to be successful, I want to have a successful trading plan in three months, which means. And then you're gonna to have to answer yourself. You're gonna to have to say, which means I gotta find somebody. Find, and then I would say, find somebody? Well, I'd have to look through the, the look through, the, I have to call my friends and see if they have somebody they can recommend, or or I have to, you know, find some, I have to first analyze myself and 
and see what the, the kind of process that I want and then match myself with the trader. Once you start reversing yourself, you're going to get to the point of the whole exercise and that's the actions that you need to take to clarify the plan that you're going to, to, to make. Well, I hope that's good because we spent a whole day on this at, with Dan Sullivan up in, uh, in Montreal, uh, or up in, up in um, Toronto. But when you get your answers, okay you want to list them in order of priority what's the most important thing first and then go from there just need a little bit of water there okay the next thing that you want to do and i know this sounds a little crazy but you want to delegate what you can especially the low priority stuff i use a ver i've been using virtual assistants forever i've been using them from the philippines from the from uh from india uh, there are some really great virtual assistants out there, and there's ones, of course, in America that'll charge you fifty or hundred dollars an hour. In, uh, but I find that uh, the, the professionals from India and even Philippines and Vietnam and so on, they can do some tasks like the one I just asked a virtual assistant to do today, uh, to take it off my um, to take it off my plate. OK, for instance, when I did this exercise and the reason I'm showing this to you is I did this exercise last week and it's working so well. I made a presentation about it. And for me, I want to bring to my audience and especially my my coaching clients some of the things that I'm doing for myself on the side. I don't generally share this uh, with with other people, but uh, so I share. But I do share it with our coaching uh, clients. And one of the things that i'm doing right now just this morning i thought to myself you know i wonder what gold and silver did during the recession or depression you know because i think we're in at least a recession now and we could be edging on a depression a different kind of depression than before but i want to know how gold and silver did and i want to know it from a factual term i don't want people's opinions i want to see charts about what happened i want to see you know some major players explanations i do want some major opinions so i contacted a virtual assistant today and i said get me a study i want to see charts i want to see opinions i want to see proof of of what you're of what you're researching for me i want to know by friday that's tomorrow i want you to come up with a presentation for me on on what's going to what you believe is going to happen in gold and silver because of the fact that we, we, you studied other recessions and depressions before this. I want a report. I took it off my plate. And when I get that report, now I'm going to have something that I can maybe make a presentation on or help other people with or, or just use myself. But I'm saying to you that if in this Dan Sullivan question, you have something that you can ship out, you know, or you can have somebody study, show me the best, you know, find me the, the best um option experts out there you happen to have one here you don't have to go follow you got larry so hang out for him but i'm saying to you that if you can think of a question that you can farm out believe me start working with this virtual assistance not only in your personal life in the professional life but personal life this is a tip i really wanted to give you okay it may not be exact for all of you but i think if you think about what can i take off my plate in that list of priorities you're going to find a better situation for yourself set up a timetable for each task i want you know you've got the demo thing you want to do you want you want to make sure that the demo well this is a three-month thing so in the first month you want to have you want to be cooking with your demo so and understanding and and getting a system of tracking your, your success your, your journaling process that you want to, to track your success. And you want to be, do that in the next 30 days out of the 45 days. So set up a timetable for each task and make yourself accountable, okay? And then when you achieve that, reward yourself, okay? Uh, today, I'm gonna order junk food from McDonald's. I'll have it delivered to me because it's free delivery. And I, I know it's not good for me, but I'm doing it anyway because I just completed my 30 day task, okay? That's my kind of crazy reward for myself so i'm just saying to you make a plan with with the, the with the dan sullivan question it's a terrific question linger with it okay and then reverse yourself in order to get suck the truth out of yourself and suck the details out of yourself so that you can make it happen for yourself okay and and so that you get the the, the tasks and then go ahead and delegate what you put in and prioritize it delegate what you can delegate and then what you're going to do yourself set up timetables you also have to set up timetables for your delegated staff and i've, I've learned to do that i, I mentioned in, this, in 
today that this gold and silver study that I want done, uh, I, I made it for tomorrow afternoon so I can look it over the weekend, okay? So take timetables for each day, whether you're virtual assisting them or you're doing them yourself, and then reward yourself upon completion, okay? Uh, I see a question here. I wonder if it has anything to do with me or you're getting kicked off. Uh, is three months is three months for a new trade enough to have confidence to go live? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, I, I think one month is enough. In fact, I I'm not a big believer in uh, I'm not a big believer in uh, demos except for to understand your process and to and to run your process because when you go live, even with a minimum amount that's when you're going to be challenged with the mental and emotional issues and that's when you're going to wish that you had some training beforehand uh because um i'm, I'm just saying to you that that the earlier you can go live with a and i'm saying this in a responsible way i want you to understand i want you to demo yourself so that you know that your trading plan will work over time uh, I mean that that you can do in two two weeks if you I mean you, you can look at all kinds of charts you're, you're looking backwards anyway and if you, you do maybe a couple of days of forward testing and see that it's acting the same way as your back test go ahead boom start with the smallest amount possible the smallest position sizing possible in order to run your trading plan responsibly because then you, the real learning begins then you're going to see you know I keep missing trades because I don't have I need to train myself to 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 pull the trigger when, when my system tells me to take a trade. And oh boy, I, I can't believe I moved my stop. You know, I didn't do that in the demo, but I did because I, you know, in the demo, you know, I was hit so many times, you know, and it went without me. Uh, you know, I, I moved my stop and I took a bigger loss. You have to start to, you, you have to start analyzing yourself also on the, I hope that, and that's it. It's a heck of an answer to, <laughs> to your question, I guess. I, I hope you feel the same way. Uh, so that that's my feeling about it, and I hope that really helps you. Uh, get get live as soon as you can in a responsible way. Get live as soon as you can, but trade in the smallest amount possible. Okay. I want to now talk to you. I hope you really enjoyed that, and I, I hope you take advantage of it. I want to spend the last few minutes that I have just telling you about our one-on-one -on -one coaching because this I'm going to show you a situation where I think you're going to want to take advantage of it. I know you are because I don't want you to be that nine out of ten. Because I don't care who you are out there, unless you pay attention to the mental and emotional facilities that are within you that need to be adjusted, you're not going to win. You'll just keep looking for trading plan after trading plan, guru after guru, and you're still not going to win because you haven't paid a, a, attention and at, at least an equal amount of time, and I'm talking about an equal amount of time on your mental and emotional situation as you do on your charts, and I'm not kidding you, okay? You've got to, you, you have to pay attention. Now, after a while, you know, it becomes all charts because now you're ingrained with the right behaviors, and that, but, but in the beginning, you have to spend at least as much time on your mental and emotional facilities as, as on your trading plan. Uh, let me, let me give you an idea of what unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions mean. I mean, it, it means what it says. Imagine being able, imagine moving a stop and you shouldn't have it said, you know, I keep doing this. Let me schedule a next coaching session tomorrow, the next day with Norman, you know, and Tisha, and, and let's get this taken care of. Boom. You, you make your schedule and you're there. Unlimited number of coaching sessions for a year. Okay. We call it laser coaching personalized mental and emotional management for traders. Uh, and this is really the culmination of our work over the last 15 years. We've priced it right so that you can do it. And we've made it so that you can, uh, and that so that all of our experiences with traders are all boiled down to helping you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, so when you come up with a problem, hey, we've, we've dealt with it. And we know how to help you to get over that quickly and efficiently. These are 15 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. And so it emphasizes focus. Now I gotta be honest with you, uh, there's been very few that we've kept at 15 minutes, usually 20 minutes or 25 minutes. We really, we're working on our end at, at, at getting it to 15 minutes because we wanna help as many people as we can. But I'm saying to you that we will take the time we need, but we, we wanna stay focused on a particular situation every time we work with you. So we're emphasizing focus and it's good for you. I mean, we'll ask you how your, how, how your family is during the crisis and so on. I mean, we can't help but do that. But after we get, we're doing fine. How are you? Fine, thanks for asking. Boom, we are now working on your situation 
as a trader, okay? And if we do that in focus, we can do it in 15 minutes, okay? We, we ice, and in, in, this, in this laser coaching, of course, we're isolating your predominant behavioral issue to eliminate and then prioritize the, those issues. So if, if you did that question, if, if you took that Dan Sullivan question seriously and you lined up your, uh, your issues and th there's gotta be a behavioral issue in there. And if that, you don't uh, keep asking yourself, because, th and those are the prior prioritize those behavioral issues that you keep take, ma making mistakes and, and getting killed because of it. And this is the fifth account you're funding. Don't make a list and that list, we, and we'll, we'll do that on our first session, help you prioritize uh, the, the behavioral issues that are predominant to you. And we do it in the one-on-one -on -one session. Now I'm, I'm the third box usually, but when Tisha starts working with you with a technique, and I'm going to show you a couple of those techniques in a second. You're going to be with her one-on-one. -on -one. There's a happy customer who, uh, that's Chris, who, who all of a sudden was relieved. This is a person who was having trouble getting excited about trading. It seemed that, you know, it was, he wasn't getting profitability for so long. And he knew if he just traded, he was missing trades that, um, that if he could just get himself excited about Tisha work with him on that and look, he's ready to go. And, and I'm, we work with you on any issue, pulling the trigger without hesitation, fear, all kinds of fear issues. Um, with unlimited sessions, you're going to get immediate support. You're not going to wait weeks or months for the next, uh, you know, webinar where the, you're teaching a hundred people. And, and not, not to say this isn't important that I'm doing, but we're, you know, these, these webinars that we're doing today are presenting to you what we have to help you. And, uh, and that you can do that as a webinar, but when it comes down to helping a trader, we need to know you as a trader. We not need to know the other guy as a trader or the other gal as a trader. We need to know you as a trader. So it is immediate and timely and we, and, and you can make, you get online, you make your appointment right away. Okay. The laser coaching process gives you fast results for your most pressing issue first, leaving plenty of time to work with the other issues that are holding you back while developing positive habits to replace your former destructive habits. I think they said that in a, diff, a couple of different ways. It's to live into you in an online meeting. We use Zoom. You probably all know what that is. Uh, allows you to access. You, we do a lot of these laser coaching by smartphone, which, um, which I was surprised about half of them are by smartphone. That's not my baby. I, I feel like, uh, was it Michael Jackson? Billy Jean, that's my, uh, she's the one, but that's not my kid. Um, on your computer or laptop <laughs> or small or smartphone, okay? So you can take these sessions any way that, that we have. And we, here's some of the cutting edge techniques and I won't go through with you, but thought field therapy, emotional freedom technique. This is the one Tisha uses most of the time. This is a, see your, your emotions and thought are married. You can't have an emotion without a thought or a thought without an emotion, they are married. What you need to do is separate the emotion from the thought. And the, the emotional freedom technique is what is a, is a a quick process that we do right in one session that will have you separate the emotion from the thought and then after that then we can start helping you install certain things like being more patient other things that serve you as a trader so separate the stuff that's hurting you and then infuse the stuff that we know is going to help you and that you have told us would help you so in the discipline trader mastery program uh, in, the, in the discipline trader laser coaching program you're getting um, the unlimited 15 minute sessions for a year and you have email access between us for, for all that session. You can email me and I, I answer usually right away. After each coaching session, you're going to receive the recording and the notes from the session so that you have them. If Tisha wants you to do a session over and over again, go ahead. You can redo it. The tapping, we call it the tapping solution. That's the, uh, that's the uh, emotional freedom technique. Some people call it the tapping solution where you're tapping um, uh, meridian points in order to release the, I know it sounds crazy to some, but believe me, that smile on Chris's face, he had never seen it before. He couldn't believe how well it worked in just a four minute period of time. So you take your session, you do your assignment, and then you book your next session. That assignment may be to repeat what was done in the 15 minute session on the recording, and maybe take one of our trainings, our mental trainings from our, the Discipline Trader Mastery Program, which you're gonna get as a bonus with this. Okay, the first 30 minute, the first session I mentioned to you is 30 minutes, not 15 minutes, because we need to get to know you a little bit more, okay? So here's our no risk guarantee. 
after your first 30 minute coaching session, that first session where we, we dig in and find out what you need, what you need from us. And so that we can help you to be the trader mentally and emotionally that you need to be to run your trading plan to success. We're, we're going to, if you're not getting that, if you don't feel that you, it's going to do it for you after the first session, we will happily and immediately refund your money. And I'll tell you right now, we have never had to refund anybody's money. You could be the first if you want to play that game, I guess, but you will be impressed, I believe, and as everybody else has. But again, you have that guarantee. But there are a couple of bonuses, and I want to give those to you right now. Uh, and I'm going to quickly go through them. Um, and there's only really two bonuses. One is the Discipline Trader Mastery Program. We charge $549 a month, so a year, you're going to get a year of that. 580, I just did the, the multiplication, $588 value. And I'm not going to go through this because uh, I don't have the time. There are different elements in, in there. I'll go through one thing. First of all, let me say that the Discipline Trader Mastery Program was sold originally for $2,000. And then when we, 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 it was out for years, we reduced it to 1,000. And then when we, when we digitized it, we reduced it to $49 a month. This is what has put us on the map. This is what has made the Discipline Trader, Tisha, the tra Discipline Traders, Tisha and I, the go-to this is why it's it's the Discipline Trader Mastery Program it is the reason why uh, Traders Expo and and all of the expos ask me to talk first in in their trading uh, presentations because the mental and emotional part of trading is equivalently important to your success. In order to be that one out of ten, you're gonna have to have it. And 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 any trader who's been trading for a while knows this. Okay, there's a basic series, but it's the core modules. I just want to point to the fact that when I, when I mentioned to you that there are trainings to instill positive influence on you, they're meditational trainings, they're in these core modules. That's why we kind of had to give them to you because in the laser coaching, once we separate the fear from the thought, the thought from the fear, then we want to um, give you a, a, a meditations in order to, um, in order to develop real, very quickly the, the, habits that will help you pulling the trigger without hesitation being patient and so on that's all in the discipline trader mastery program i'm also give, going to give you all of our simple trading plans now many of you have trading plans but these simple trading plans use one or two techniques that you may be able to add and if you don't have a trading plan try these they are simple and they are good uh and and they're they're good because i know because i've used them okay they're my trading plans that i'm giving to you and there's a, a fourth trading plan called the loaded gun that I'm, I'm also giving you. It, we first came out with the first three big move potential, which, which helps, which, which, which caught this big move down as many trading plans did, but including uh, the big move potential caught this big move down in, in the S&P. The extremes plan also did. The continuation plan helps you uh, use this Fibonacci, where the market goes up, corrects a little bit, but how, is it correcting or is it going, is this a new trend down? The continuation plan helps you to identify that and then go back with the trend if it's going to continue. Okay, so um, you've got the Bollinger Bands uh, used in the extremes plan. Um, um, certain candlesticks are, are used in the big move potential. And the loaded gun is the one that seems to be working best of all right now. So I'm giving you that right now. Also, the loaded gun plan, which uses an exponential move average along with the, the issues, other issues. So... Uh, actually, only one other thing, and that's a trigger, a two-bar trigger with candlesticks. So I really wanted you to have lo the loaded gun. You're getting all my plans in case you don't have them. If you do, then it's a bonus that you'll be able to kind of take a look and learn from the stuff that I've done and maybe make, make it, put it in your trading plan. Uh, here's, uh, here's what clients are saying. Uh, you know, they're all great things. I don't have time. But listen, you either love me or you don't. You either trust me or you don't. But here's a couple, just short of, this is a short note to say, uh, I express my gratitude to you and Tisha for an immersive and very helpful first session. I feel I feel lighter and rekindled the hope that I could I could go to the next level with my trading. That's from Monster after his first session. Here's another, uh, it wasn't today, it was a couple of weeks ago, but I, I, I clipped this today. I recently started working with Norman Tisha in the laser coaching program to help me be a better trader, pass on, Change has caused me to be my best. Their caring and dedication to, ha is to, to helping you get there is very evident. It's loading, I'm starting to see a difference. It's amazing, etc. cetera. Here's, an, here's one that just came in recently, this month, uh, last month on the 20th. I was going to copy Tish on this, but I didn't. Attached are my trades for this morning. I am, I'm not expecting you to fully understand, 
I want to just show you the amazing results after one session. To be honest, I was very skeptical with the tapping EFT method. However, seeing that I had the most patients uh, he's ever had, okay, basically followed my plan exactly. I was very impressed to say the least. Look, if you are ready to be that one person out of 10, get aboard and let's make this happen. We will help you make this happen. You can be that one out of 10. Otherwise, you are going to be the nine out of 10. It is just a fact. Five, you get the 15 minute coaching session, you get all the bonus 15 minute coaching sessions for a year, you get the bonuses. Okay. And again, it's all for 997. Here's the link. So copy the link down, or um, I don't know if Anna could put the link in the uh, in the chat or in the questions area, but the discipline trader.com forward slash get laser $997 gets you a year of unlimited coaching with us and all of the bonuses. And you'll, you'll be, you click that link, you're going to be taken to the shopping cart. I think I've explained enough. You have your guarantee. If you don't like it, you'll send your money back. That's not a problem. I want you to feel what we do for yourself. And if you're feeling it right now, go ahead and give this a shot. Let us book your first session. Let's help you with that 30 minute session. If at the end, you don't think it's everything that I've just cracked it up to be, you get your money back. Okay. So again, 997, there is the, um, there is the link the disciplinetrader.com forward slash get laser and do not move because Larry Gaines is going to say something. I know I've heard him too many times to not know that this guy is going to say something that you're really going to like in options because he knows what he's doing. I think he's discussing butterflies, which is great for this market as uh, as Larry wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't. So I want to thank everybody. Thank Anna. And I'm sorry, I, I bleed it over a couple of minutes of Larry. Um, but uh, thank you, Anna, for having me. And thank you, everybody, for sticking with me through the end here. All right. All right. Well, thanks again for having me. Um, all right. Good. Just double check. So, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, some strategies <clears throat> to use for these kind of extreme markets that we're in. And so two of my favorites uh, we're going to discuss here today are the butterflies and the long condors. So the following uh, webinar here is purely for educational purposes. Any stocks, options, futures, ETFs mentioned does not constitute advice and should not be construed as a recommendation. Now, to me, the secret to profits really comes down to actually three things, direction, timing, and then managing your risk. And the best way to manage risk that I've found over my career in trading is uh, incorporating the use of options. Now, what if you had a trading strategy that could turn around your losing trades and maybe even turn them into winners? And what if the same strategy could capitalize on the two main option pricing components, time decay and volatility uh, collapse more than any other method? So would this be worth your time to take uh, time to, to learn these strategies? Now, over my 30 years of trading options, I've found that the most valuable go-to option strategies that can uh, literally help any trader more than any other trading strategy known as the butterfly and the long condor uh, option spreads. So the huge advantage of these strategies are their unique option framework that allows you to construct trades that will provide more consistent and greater returns in any type of uh, trading market environment. And especially when we get into high volatility markets like we're currently in. Uh, so due to the simple but dynamic structure, you can structure these types of trades to really define and limit your risk, but also at the same time maintain a potential for a big reward. So because of this kind of structure, uh, it really only requires a small amount of your hard earned capital uh, and your trading returns are going to be greater and your trading stress is going to be a lot uh, less. Uh, so a lot reduced on that risk. And that's that's a big a big win overall. So you get your trading stress down and and I've found over the years of trading that if I know my risk is small I've, I've got less stress stress about the trade now the butterflies and long condors are very dynamic and they can be traded for a variety of different reasons with different goals in mind so in other words you can learn how to trade a butterfly or a long condor and you're going to be covered for both your offense or profits and both for your defense of hedging so goals and protection now, these types of strategies can work no matter what the markets are doing. So they're very versatile. So can work in an up, down market or sideways market. Uh, they can really help to provide income from stocks that are going nowhere, just kind of churning sideways. Uh, eliminates the stress of having to be perfect on your stock's direction and overall market direction. 
uh, eliminates the time decay expense that you're going to encounter if you're just constantly just only buying long options. It will help to really take the unsettling guesswork out of your trading. Uh, and these strategies can be structured for, again, very low cost and low capital at risk. And that's the, the thing that I like about them so much. And, and plus, you're going to see that they can offer you a 10 to 1 or higher reward on that risk that you're taking on any of your specific trades. Now, the butterflies and long condors, they're also very flexible, as you're going to see ahead with some examples I'll show you. And once you learn the fundamental setup of these types of spreads, you can then adopt these option strategies to both your goals and your market insight. So you could be structuring them for more of a kind of a delta neutral where you're not sure about which direction the market is going to go. But to me, the real beauty is that they can be used for direct your directional trades offering you either kind of a bullish or bearish exposure to the market, you know, when you feel per pretty comfortable about a stock's, uh, you know, direction. But if you're wrong, the butterfly and the long condor structure is going to help you to really keep your risk low, but at the same time, potentially provide you that potential for the big, re big return on your, on your risk. And that's a real win-win situation. Now, but let's be real. These types of option spreads are not going to offer you that unlimited profit potential you know, such as just buying long calls, but they're going to really usually cost you a lot less than buying your outrights, and they're going to offer you an amazing risk reward trade setup. So this means that the butterflies and long condors will significantly increase your probability of your winning trades while also reducing your risk. And, you know, that's really what it's all about when you come into to trading. Now, the butterflies and long condors can be used for hedging as well. So when you mess things up, which we're going to do in trading, uh, these can be strategies you, you can use for a fast, low-cost way to cover your you-know-what when your position starts to move against you. So I've found no other hedging strategy you know, that even compares to incorporating these two types of strategies into your trading for hedging. So for example, if you're constructing a butterfly or say a long condor around some strike that is under pressure from another core trade, such as if you trade credit spreads, you, you have the experience of where that price goes through your short strike and, you know, then you're just totally upside down. So it's a pretty agonizing feeling or a debit spread that goes against you. But if you understand and learn how to use the butterfly defense or long condor defense, you can then quickly neutralize these types of uh, risks that you have and then control the risk and even reduce that risk. Now, you can keep your original position open if you just implement either a butterfly or long condor hedge on that original position. And the, the beauty of these types of hedging strategies is that they take advantage of that time decay component of your option pricing. So while you're waiting, and many times that's all you need, is just that little bit of more time for your original position to stabilize and then move back in your favor. But as you're waiting, you're getting the benefit of the time decay component from a butterfly or long condor. So it's at that point then when they start to settle down, then you can, you know, a lot of times just remove the hedge, stick with your original trade, you know, write it for what it's worth. Now, here's a typical uh, look or construction of a, uh, of a butterfly. So let's take a look at this one second here. So let me get my drawing tool out here. Now, here's a, you know, what we'd say a call debit spread. So you're long a call here and short a call. Okay, so this is a nice, great trade setup because we are defining our risk in this example to $300. But I try to always teach clients and members never to lose your total capital at risk. So one way we could reduce this risk if we needed to, we could quickly uh, convert it uh, to a butterfly if we needed to reduce that risk. So by selling a credit spread, sharing the same short strike as that call debit spread example, we would bring in, in this example, $200 credit. You add the two together, you just form what we call a balanced butterfly. And by doing that, we've reduced our risk down from the original trade of $300 to, to just $100 of risk. And we still have a potential for a really big return on this uh, butterfly structure. So this is what we call the profit zone or profit tent. And if this was to go out at your short strike of those uh, two, two short parts of the trade, you'd have a max profit. But it alleviates and neutralizes your risk and then lets you, you know, decide if you want to leave it like this or leg out. Um, hold on one second.
Okay, so that's a typical look there. Now, the thing that uh, the condor is very similar to your butterfly, but the thing I like about this structure is instead of sharing the short, short strike there and having that very, very defined kind of, kind of, you have to really thread the needle, we can widen out the spread here. So this gives us a bigger profit zone to work with. So it's a great hedging technique too, uh, to incorporate this long condor hedge as well, or the butterfly, either one. Uh, so it's a very low risk trade. And also the other thing, if you're an option trader, which hopefully everybody here is, it really uh, uh, works on reducing your theta decay and giving you usually a positive theta trade. Now, the core concepts that make these butterflies and long condor work and really amazing comes down to the option pricing components for generating uh, profits and, and, and income. And with the butterfly and long condor, these are strategies that you can do that. But it really comes down to the concept of time decay, all right, or theta and the effect that it has on the price of your option. So let's take a review of these kind of core concepts. Now, what Theta does, it tells us how much an option price is gonna go down over time, and that's the rate of the time decay of your stock's option. So time decay occurs because the extrinsic value or that time value of your option is gonna go down as expiration draws near. And so eventually it goes to zero, so it's a decaying part of your pricing component. So with the butterfly or condor, we've got that selling component in there which we're selling time and also when you're selling options, you're selling volatility. So it's the perfect combination. So, you know, when we look here, this is a balanced butterfly on the left and then the condor on the right. So let's take a look at a few examples. So here's an example, for example, uh, the XYZ company is trading at $45 and we're looking for just a little bit of a move down to 43. So these are great for what I call target trades where you specific, specify or put to, together a target. And I usually, what I'll use for targets is Fibonacci levels and moving averages. So in this trade, let's say we're going to move to 43 and I want a very defined risk trade. And uh, these can be very short duration as well. So in this example, you're buying the 44 April call or put, excuse me, and you're going to pay $2.38 for that or $238. All right. So you're buying that and then you're going to sell the 43 put at the same time, and you're going to bring in a dollar sixty-seven credit there, and then you're going to sell that dollar, that forty-three put again, bring in another dollar sixty-seven, and buy the forty-two put. So we just formed what we call a butterfly, you know, like this. So here's the body, and the butterfly gets its name from the body, which is where your short strikes are. So here's your body, here are the wings, and we just created this uh, butterfly with a dollar wide spread. Now, if you look at the math, your debit is two thirty-eight plus a dollar six. And then you receive your credit of $1.67 twice. So in this trade times 100 to make it equivalent to an option contract, you've got $10 of risk. So that's the maximum you can lose on the trade. But your potential profit, if you just take the middle strike, 43 less your lower strike, less the debit cost, that's going to give you your theoretical, what I call theoretical profit. Because in this example, you can see that would be potential to make $90 per spread if it went out at expiration right there at your short strikes. So if you look at that, if you could make $90 on $10 of risk, that's a 900% return or nine to one. So that's the beauty of the butterfly because if you're in a really high implied volatility or uncertainty type of market and you make a mistake on direction, you know what your risk is. And in this example, you can see how low it is. So in this example, it's just, um, you know, $10. And so I'll show you some real live examples of that uh, that type of risk here in just a minute. So that's a typical kind of butterfly setup and you can use calls or puts. Now, how do you choose the best butterfly or long condor strategy for your trading goals? So one major goal of every trader, in my opinion, should be to look to select trades that are going to be based on what's going to provide you the most consistent positive returns with low defined risk and not always that greatest return. So in trading, you should look at it, you know, kind of chipping away, you know, hitting singles and doubles. And then occasionally you're going to get the triple and the home run. So if you can just stay in the game and with these types of strategies, these will hit singles, doubles, and then sometimes you'll hit the big home run. Now, one of the best ways then to achieve this is then being aware of the different option strategies that are out there and available to you, understand how they each work, and then select the best one suited for your market environment, your trading and your specific trading goals. So, you know, everybody here today is going to have a different amount of capital that you can trade different times a day you can trade. So you have to factor those into your trading plan. But 
with these types of strategies, you can use it for any account size. You can have account size of a thousand dollars or five thousand or you know a hundred thousand, and you can use these strategies for any size of account. So they're really flexible. Now, when we look at the butterfly strategy, it's what I call the kind of the butterfly family. You've got some different variations. You've got the long call or put butterfly. You've got what we call a broken wing butterfly where you use calls or puts. Sometimes you'll hear this called a skip strike butterfly. You've got what I've kind of termed the ninja butterfly, which is an unbalanced or ratio butterfly. You've got a wide wing directional butterfly, iron butterflies, and then hedging is a whole other category using the butterfly. And then you've got the long condor, which is very similar to your butterfly. So let's take a look at a few trade examples to give you an idea how these work. Now, when we look at the butterfly, we'll look at this kind of a simple balanced butterfly first. And when we look at the butterfly spread, you want to be able to adjust your risk. So to do that, we can adjust our risk and our profit by the wingspan of the butterfly. So here's an example of a narrow wing butterfly. So this is going to be a, an example of a lower risk uh, kind of butterfly because we've narrowed the rings, uh, the rings and we've narrowed the width of the butterfly spread. So in this example, the spread is going to be $100 wide. So, so this is a directional trade setup. This was, and the ETFs are fantastic, SPY, QQQ, IWM, or the index options, SPX, NDX. These are great uh, for trading, you know, butterflies and condors. So in this example, it's SPY. So we had a big sell-off. We've got our FIB levels in. We were targeting the 618 retracement level right here. And so, again, always use targets for your trades. And so targeting this... Uh, this uh, 618 retracement here, and there's also a lot of option activity. So they gave a great target for this kind of 2 to uh, 73 target right here. All right, so we wanted to do a very low risk trade in case it rolled back down. And that's kind of the environment we're in now. You know, we're, we're getting to these certain FIB levels, and then if it exceeds it, you know, it, it could take off. But if it fails, then we could have a rollover. So perfect kind of scenarios for butterflies. So in this example, this was by the 272 call sell the 273 call. So if you look at that, it's called Devis Red. And then we're going to sell another 273 call by the 274 to protect that short call. So we just made this into a dollar wide spread. So our butterfly. So if you look at the 273, 272, so dollar wide. So if you look at your pot profit, that would be taking the spread width of the dollar or hundred dollars per option contract, less your cost here of $10. So your theoretical potential profit on this spread would be $90 on your risk of 10. So your debit cost down here, 10 cents, is your total amount of risk. So you can see here on the risk profile, you've got $10 of risk with the potential for $90 profit on this butterfly. Now this one went out two days later with a profit of 70, which is a 700% return. So these are the strategies that you can get these insane type of returns, which you think are impossible, but they're, but they're not with, with the butterfly. So they're great for really short duration trades as well, which is great for high risk markets because when you're in a high risk market, you wanna have your trade duration short because time equals risk. So that's another good factor for that. So here's where it went out two days later. So set up on the 14th and on the 16th, it was trading right here inside the profit zone. So you can see this butterfly tent, we call it. And the purple line is where it is in time. So you can see it's right there where my pointer is trading right there at 273 going out towards uh, the end of the day and expiration on that Friday. So this went from a 10 cent debit or $10 debit to $80, okay? So there's your 10 or your $70 profit per spread. And so on one spread, that's $70. And this was set up for four, so it was over 280. So in that $70 on your risk of 10 is a 700% return. All right, so the, this was set up two days from expiration. So they're great for short duration. Uh, type trade setups. Now here's another example. This is a wider wing, wide wing butterfly. So we're going to widen out the wings to give us a, a bigger profit zone. So you can kind of think of it as if you're out there trying to catch a butterfly, it's going to be easier to catch it with a big wide net than a narrow net. So this is going to widen out that, that uh, butterfly spread. So you're going to have a bigger profit zone. Now, as you widen out your profit zone, you're gonna widen out your profit potential, but you're gonna also increase your risk to, to a little bit, of, you know, to more than a narrow wing, but still your risk is gonna be super low. So let me show you an example. Again, on SPY, 
and this was a short trade setup. So we were using puts and we were targeting right again, this Fibonacci level, this 382 retracement right there at 332. So it was trading right here at 336. We were looking for this rollover based on our indicators down here, momentum, you can see down at the bottom. I like to use momentum for direction. So we set up this butterfly targeting 332. And so this was on the 18th and it was uh, just a, another short duration trade. Typically I'll take put these on two to three days from expiration or seven or eight days out. So in this one, you can see the spread width is, is wider. So this is buying the 335 put, selling the 332, okay, then selling the 332, buying the 329. So $3 wide spread, here's your body. So we just created this wider wing butterfly here of $300 wide. Now the risk is our debit pay down here. You can see it's $35, 35 cents. So still super low risk, right? So could you handle losing $35 versus losing $1,000, that kind of thing. Now you take your spread width, less your, your cost. So your potential theoretical profit, if it went out right there at expiration, would be $265. That would be a 757% return on your risk of 35, so seven and a half to one. Three days later, this was up 156, not bad. That's a 445% return. So these things have a really amazing risk reward payoff. Uh, and so again, it keeps you in the game and you're just hitting away chip, chip, chip. And then occasionally you're going to hit one that nails it totally. So here's where it was going out. This was uh, set up on the 18th and on the 21st, the spread was at 156. It was going out at 156 profit on that spread. So it went from down below, you set up the uh, 335, 332 put spread at 77, and that was going at 213. And then the, the other part of it was, uh, down to 22 cents. So these can also be legged, you know, also a great way to leg as, as far as using the spread. So the risk here was 35. Uh, it hit on the 21st, it hit a profit uh, target or hit a profit of 190 per spread. And so then on the 21st, it was uh, at, at expiration, it was going out $156 per spread. So 445% return on your risk of 35. So there's where it was at at expiration. So just, you know, the same day uh, it was trading here and then at expiration it was right there. So it's a really great strategy. So that's a wider wing butterfly. Now here's another example of using the SPX, which is the uh, CBOE, the index options. Okay. So this SPX is also a great contract for this. And this is another wide wing butterfly, but to show you an example of using, if you like the indexes for the SPX. And so this spread with is $4,000. So this again is another target trade to the downside here, targeting down this 2800 level. And this was based you know, on our, our trading model that we use, momentum based. So it was trading at 2880 and we were, this is what we call a kind of a retracement failure. You can see how it came up here and started breaking down into the moving averages and fall through. So we we're targeting this zone, this area down here at 2800 where you had all this price action. So this was then, going long the 2840 put on the uh, SPX and then selling the 2800 and then selling the 2800 put again buying the 2760. So if you look at that spread width, it's $40 per, you know, between the legs. So that's times hundred, that would be for one option contract, that's $4,000. The risk is your debit pay down here, 270 per debit per spread. So that'd be $270. So your spread width, 4,000 less 270, gives you a potential profit of $3,730. That would be a 1381% return or 13 to one. So these are spreads that give you these potentially crazy returns. Okay, so these are real, realistic now, but think about it, if you just get, you know, let's say if you get 20 or 30% of this, you still are making a great return on your capital. So here's where it went out. So it's a really flat, you can see this purple line is what it's doing in time. And so by doing a wide wing butterfly, we can, you know, have that bigger profit zone. So this one was then trading right there on the 13th, uh, was traded, it was set up on the 8th and on the 13th, it was trading right here at that 2811. So not, you know, perfect at 2800 and this was taking it off before expiration. So the expiration was on the 17th, but it hit our profit in, into our profit uh, kind of target area right here. So at that point in time, it was up 465 dollars 
on one spread. So one spread 465, you did 10, that'd be 4,600 or 4,650. And on your risk of 270, that's 172% return. So, you know, another great setup because we know our risk is defined and pretty low, but we have a potential for a big return on that very low amount of risk. Now, here's another great way to use it. This is on Amazon. So a lot of times, you know, you've got these really expensive stocks, you know, especially like an Amazon that trades at, you know, where's Amazon trading today? It's up trading at uh, 20, $22,037. So, you know, these are expensive stocks. So this is another way you can trade these very extensive, expensive stocks and get and control it for very cheap. So this is a wide wing butterfly setup uh, on the, uh, on Amazon, all right. So, question: What do you what's preferable, SPX or SPY? Uh, well, it you know SPY is, is super liquid, uh, but if you do a lot of contracts, SPX is equivalent to like doing ten contracts of SPY. So, you know if you're doing more you know more volume, SPX is better. But if you're a smaller account, SPY is perfect. So here's an Amazon trade setup. So in Amazon, we were looking for this kind of directional target right into here, eighteen. Under 1830 right here, so it'd come up to 1830, and um, and failed. You can see all how many times it failed. So we wanted to try a trade to target 1830, and so it had been bouncing off this 200-day moving average here. So we wanted a really cheap, low, expensive way to do that. So at that point in time, on the 29th, it was trading at 1782, and we were targeting here again, target 1830. So to do this, we target 1830. We're going to use a call butterfly, but look at this. Uh, spread setup. So this was by then the 1820 call. We're targeting 1830. So we did the sold the 1830 and then sold it again, bought the 1840. So that's a $10 wide spread, or that would be a thousand dollars for one option contract. So here's this wider wing butterfly right here on Amazon. So thousand dollar wide, ten dollar wide spread or a thousand dollars. The cost for one spread was eighty dollars right here all right now think about this so in this example um amazon was trading at you know 18 uh 1782 all right so if you bought 100 shares of amazon you know that's going to be what is that uh eight, 1782 1782 times 100 shares uh that's 178 thousand dollars two hundred seventy eight two hundred dollars for 100 shares but in this example, you're trading one option contract, that's equivalent to 100 shares for $80. Pretty amazing, right? And the potential profit here, theoretical profit, we're not even thinking we'll get that, but the theoretical profit would be 920 on your risk of 880, that's 1150% return, 11, 11 to one. So that's the beauty of these types of strategies. Uh, so then let's take a look. Now, this is the other amazing thing with time decay. So here, here it was uh, uh, on, the sixth, uh, this was the day of expiration. This was in the morning at about 10 o'clock a.m. roughly. So at that point in time, the spread was trading right there at 1836. So it was up $150 per spread right there, okay? So that's still not bad, 187% return, but not that 1150. But look what happens four hours later, the same day. 150 here, now four hours later, now the spread right here is now went from $80 to 695, so it's up $615 per spread. So four times more, four hours later, and that's because of the time decay component being stripped out and volatility going into expiration. So another great way to, to really keep a low defined risk trade, but play a higher price stock if you want to do that. Uh, so that's an example. Now, here's another way to use what we call, this is a long condor spread. And this is used to structure, it gives you a positive theta, so you don't have that negative theta on your trades, very low capital at risk, high return on capital, and this is a great way to hedge as well. So here's an example of a, a, a trade setup that we did on TTD that started out as a long call debit spread, and then we converted it into a uh, call condor, all right? So reduced our directional risk, reduced our theta time decay risk, and had a high capital uh, return. So your condor looks basically like that, similar to the butterfly, but we're gonna widen out this, the this spread here, the zone of profit. So the original trade here was we bought TTT right here, looking for an upside pop. 
and then it started to waffle. So we immediately hedged it and converted it to what we call this long call condor. So it was actually on the same day. So I'm going to show you the breakdown of the trade. And then we were we were targeting the 14th was the expiration. We were targeting up here to 305, this area here. All right, so the first uh, part of the trade we did, the original trade was long the 295 calls, short the 297 and a half calls. So two and a half dollar wide call debit spread or risk was $95, potential profit 155. So that's still a pretty pretty decent trade setup. That'd be 163% return. So you can see your risk of 95 potential profit. So this was the 295, 97 and a half call debit spread. But then the market started to, to kind of stall out. We were worried it could roll over. So immediately then hedge this by selling short against it, the three 12 and a half call by the 315. So there's a bear call credit spread. So when you put these two together, that creates this structure, what we call the call, the the long, in this example, long call condor. So we're long the call debit spread here, 295, 97 half. Then we added that spread there, the three 12 and a half, 315. So by adding this together, that's what we call the long call condor. In this example, we reduced our risk to 50 to $5 per spread, but our profit increased because we added that credit spread to it. And look at our return, potential return increased as well, 355%. So this is a, a great strategy that also increases your return and also reduces your theta. So here it was, it kind of went out between our two short strikes, which is perfect. And so we ended up with this one having max profit because it went out between our two short strike zones. So this was the 295, 97 half call debit spread, max profit on that. And then the 312 and a half, 315 bear call credit spread, max profit on that. So uh, $155 there plus the $40 credit. So that gave you your, your return of 355. Now, if you just bought TTD at 290, you know, 292, 30, and you got that move to 305 and you did 100 shares, your return was 4.45%. But in this one, your return is 355%. So there's just no no better way really to trade if you can trade options versus you know trading the shares themselves, as you can see in this example. So if you'd like to learn more about how to you know master these high reward and very low risk type strategies that work in any market environment, there are two things that you know you can do now if you'd like. First, you know, I showed you enough here today that you could probably figure it out and do it on your own. But if you want to do this faster, I've got a very great course here that I did uh, about a month back. This was a, a, master, a Butterfly and Long Condor Options Master's course. So this is a, a recorded course, a uh, six plus hour uh, course broken down in 30 minute modules or less. So you'll get the full six hour course in these modules and then you'll get the full PowerPoint. My courses are very, very detailed. And then you're going to get some great bonuses in addition to the course itself. If you'd like to, to sign up for it, let me give you the link here. This is the payment link. And yeah, see, you just put that in. So thank you very much. So you should be able just to click on that link and it should pull up a uh, payment link. You'll see it drop down. And so that, yeah, so that looks good. Yeah, perfect. And you'll see it's just $97. But not only are you going to get the course, but you're going to get some great bonuses. And so you can use PayPal or your credit card, whatever. So just use that link there. And then uh, let's go through everything you'll get with this um, course. Now you're gonna get the six plus hour recorded course. Again, these are this is yours forever. You'll get a login to our site, uh, which will house your course on the cloud. And so this will be in modules of 30 minutes. So you can go back, if there's a certain module you wanna go look at, you know, you can get back to it easy. And so so if you went to my, my uh, website, powersockertrading.com. This is uh, on the site for 397, but you're gonna, everybody here today, if you sign up, you'll get it for all this, uh, plus the bonuses for, for 97. And so we'll do also a follow-up live Q&A, which will be recorded, this will be probably a week later. You'll get a link to that. We'll send it out to you by email. You're also gonna get bonus two. This is also a course, uh, kind of an option tutorial. It's a video uh, course, uh, but about option pricing components and standard deviation. So you'll get that. Uh, you're going to get my bonus three, my complete option strategy guide manifesto, I call it. So 15 really great option strategies you can print out, put on your desk. Uh, my Greek power tool guide explaining what the Greeks are. And as a extra bonus, you're going to get a trial membership to our trading club. So this will be for for 30 day trial. And if you want to stay on, then it's 97 a month or you can do an annual membership that's a lot cheaper. And if you don't, you don't have to start this right away. If you want to send us an email, and say, hey, you know, going to start in a week or a month, we'll, we'll be happy to do that. 
So here's everything that's listed here, and then let's go through. So you're gonna get the Options Master's course. I did this back in February. So six plus hour recorded course, broken down in 30 minute modules or less, 418 page training manual. The, my courses are really a lot of examples of trades, so you can kind of go through and visually see it. So it's kind of a step-by-step -step blueprint course. So it'll take you through the income uh, part of it, non-directional hedging and more. So part one of this co course will be covering kind of reviewing the Greeks that are important for the these two strategies. So primarily theta decay and how it impacts the butterfly and long condor. And then the volatility, the importance of that and how the impact of volatility, what we call crush, volatility crush, uh, really helps to give you the advantage of the butterfly long condor. And then the, the pricing effects, you know, the effect of time volatility. So you'll learn all about that, which is helpful for any of your option trading. Uh, then part two, we'll go through the core basics. Many traders are just, you know, not familiar with these strategies. And so, so this was just kind of the core basics of why they work. And then we'll go through the butterfly long condor foundation, of these strategies, which is basically what we call vertical spreads. All right. So then we'll go into each of the butterfly uh, strategy and go into great detail how, why, and when to use these different butterfly structures. So how, why, and when to use the long call butterfly or put butterfly the wide wing butterfly, a broken wing butterfly, a ratio butterfly, a broken wing ratio butterfly, iron butterfly, vacation butterfly, long condor. So we'll go in the course, goes through each one in great detail with examples. And then what's the optimal time frame? Should you put these on, you know, two weeks out, a month out? So when do you put these on to capitalize on them? And then what should you use for your butterfly trades? And so we'll go into detail on some of the better stocks or ETFs or index options or even futures that you can use. How to structure these setups where you get those 10 to one or higher returns where you saw a couple examples earlier. How to profit from the option volatility collapse and time decay. And then a major trade advantage of the long option condor. So the long option condor is just a super trade structure if you wanna use it just for low risk trade, but it's also a great way for hedging and legging into. So all it is basically is combining vertical debit spread with a vertical credit spread. And these can provide you a low capital risk trade with, with positive theta and give you returns of 100, 200, 300% return. So you saw that one example here, you know, earlier 300% return. And then how, why, and when to use the long condor spread. And then another category of the course is monthly option expiration. So next week we'll have the monthly option expiration and this presents you 12 times a year, kind of another type of way to generate income on what we call option pinning. When you're trying to pin, figure out where, where an option strike is gonna go out on a monthly basis, and then we can we can structure a butterfly around that pinning price. So it's really a lot of fun. So you'll learn in the course how to do that and how to target your those strike prices for pinning using a Fibonacci and unusual option activity. So that's part of the course. And then part three is the hedging part. So You'll go through a checklist of when to put these on, take them off, how to execute and manage it, and then how to use the butterfly and long condor hedge. So if, if nothing else, in this kind of trade environment, you wanna be able to hedge. If, you're, if you don't know how to hedge your positions, you're, what I say, your accident, trading accident waiting to happen. So a lot of the course spends time on the hedging component of it, and then also how you can hedge and defend vertical spreads, like a vertical debit spread or credit spread. So if you're a credit spread uh, trader, this is going to be a great course because it's going to teach you some hedging techniques for defending a credit spread or a debit spread. And then you'll get my resource list, uh, which will give you what assignment risk is, expiration risk, auto exercise. And then you'll get a trading library, which you can go back and look at a lot of trades, past trades that give you good examples of how these things work. So it's a lot of great uh, content and it's yours again forever. Uh, so just join us, uh, use that link. and. Here's a little feedback. Just when I think uh, I have it all, uh, I can learn about options in Walks Larry with both gl uh, guns blazing. Amazing, Jim. Excellent class, Larry, as usual. You under promise, over deliver. Pam, I wish I'd known how to do this hedging before I lost so much money doing credit spreads. So there's a, you know, uh, another example there, credit spreads. People lose so much money on credit spreads because they don't know how to hedge. Um, and then here's thanks again for showing so many ways of getting out of trouble. And that's the, and that the truth, you know, in trading, you get into trouble. So these types of strategies can also help you get out of that trouble. Could have come in handy in the past and my trading PL would have been totally different story, Jim. 
and then Raj, my aha moment. Okay, so um, the bonuses, you'll get my follow-up Q&A, and this will be recorded, option trading tutorial, so 60-page option guide with videos on the Greeks and market maker secrets, standard deviation, option delta, probabilities, my 15 option strategy guide. So this is a list of, of, of trade construction, when to use things like a back ratio spread, ladder spreads, all kinds of different option structures, and then my uh, options Greeks handout. So this will give you a, a desktop. What is gamma, theta, delta, you know, just so you have it right at your fingertips. And then a trial month membership to our trading club. And then if you stay in, it's 97 a month or 488 if you want to do it an annual. But you'll get access to our virtual trading room. So this is open each day during the week from 930 to 1030 a.m. Eastern. So I'm in there hosting it and then back for the close. Uh, I do a daily market update video after the close. So you'll get that each and every night. Uh, these are archived, then you'll get access to our weekly Q&As every Tuesday, so live and then recorded. Uh, Traders Educational Vault, access to that, and anything on a, a, on my website, you'll get 60% discounts on all courses and trading software. I've got seven different uh, software, trading software packages that I have uh, on trading models that I've developed. So it's a really extensive, um, great uh, great deal here, so hopefully you'll take advantage of it. And if you do, I'll also look forward to seeing you in the future for other uh, events that I do. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. I'm about out of time. Let's see if I do have any time here. There we go. All right. All right. Um, well, thank you very much again for having me here today. And uh, Good luck, everybody trading. So if you want to really reduce your risk but still retain some potential high rewards, make sure to sign up for this course. I think you'll really be pleasantly surprised. So again, thanks, everybody. Good luck trading. Have a great uh, extra long weekend and stay safe. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the presentation. My name is Joshua Martinez. Before we get started, uh, can you please be so kind to type in a yes into the question section box? Uh, just let me know you can hear my voice. That let me know that everything's working properly on my end, as well as everything's working properly on your end. Okay, I'm just pulling up the, the question section box now. Um, hey, Raul, from all the way from Dubai. Awesome. Hey, member. Um, hey, Johnny. Hey, Eugene. Hey, Caroline. Welcome to the presentation. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, perfect. So. Uh, what you're going to notice is that uh, to communicate, all you have to do is click on the little orange button with the arrow in it, and then down at the bottom says enter a question for staff. You type it in there, and then we'll be able to see your questions. And I, I want to say thank you to Investor Expo for having me on here. We're going to talk about destination trading, and also uh, we're going to cover what we believe is the next big move inside the market. Ideally, it's going to be uh, an opportunity anywhere between 25,000 and 50,000 US dollars for those trading e mini contracts. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about the futures market, but we do like to monitor futures that do have ETFs. And then, of course, you can either trade the ETF for lower risk or you can even go trade the option on the ETF, which is quite nice. Uh, okay, can you see the visual? Active Trader, can you see the visual? It says you're about to discover. So I'll make sure that that was updated as well. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And so with that being said, let's get started. In front of you is the risk disclaimer. It just means that there is risk involved. You should never invest money, cannot afford to lose. Always keep risk management in mind. Understand that we are not CTAs. It stands for Commodity Trading Advisors. What that basically means is I'm going to share with you research. What you do, this information is completely up to you. Uh, I'm not here to dictate your trades. I'm not here to tell you the trade. I'm not here to manage your money. And I'm here to share with you research. What you do, this information is completely up to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. And uh, perfect. Um, <clears throat> type in a yes if you can see the charts. We're looking at the E-mini Russell 2000 on a five-minute time frame. Uh, if you type in a yes, let me know you can see it. We'll go ahead and get started. Okay, perfect. So in trading, traditionally, this is how this stuff works. Uh, whether you trade stocks, options, futures, forex, ETFs, cryptos, whatever, um, 
whether you use fundamentals, economics, whether you do research on a company, whether you use a scanner, stochastic RSI, oscillators, moving averages, when, you, when it's time to actually pull the trigger and enter into a position, it all starts with a pattern, okay? And what we end up doing as individuals is we learn how to recognize patterns in the market or patterns in the economic side, which have an effect on the market. And so <clears throat> when it comes to a trading strategy, if you were to develop a trading strategy, you would need to have a pattern that repeated itself enough time to give you confidence for you to say, okay, I'm going to invest my hard-earned money. I'm going to risk this much money to make this much money, right? And so what I want to introduce to you is what's called, because I only have 45 minutes today, so I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, we're going to introduce to you what's called Destination Trader. Now, traditionally, I, I communicate this with a lot of people. And so I'm just kind of curious in the room, if you've never seen Destination Trader before, which is just a forward, which is just a uh, pattern recognition technology, um, type in new N-E-W if it's, if it's new to you. Uh, type in I've seen it if you've already seen it. I just kind of want to see the mixture of the room because what this will do is give me the ability to kind of um, understand or to share with you um, the, you know, uh, the type of language I need to be using. Okay, so uh, Caroline says new. Pete says I've seen – okay, Pete says I have it. Beautiful. Perfect. Um, Active says I've seen it on TA. Perfect. Uh, Caroline says I've seen this. Eugene says new. Jay says new. Okay, so it's a healthy mixture. Okay, so let's just talk about what it is. Well, first things first, I'm going to give you the formula so you know exactly what it is. Destination trader, they're just simply lines on your charts, these little dots, and then you use these dots as a limit or as a target. And they work really, really well. So here is what it is. You may want to write this down, but it's called uh, des uh, what is destination trader. Okay, what it is is the following. It takes 120 minutes of time. It finds the high price, the low price, and the close price within that 120 minutes, and it's fixed. So every two hours, you get a new destination. So like 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, etc. Then it runs a formula, a man-discovered, not man-made, but a man-discovered formula. And then it uh, stamps dots on the charts of the symbol that you're looking at. And believe it or not, it has up to a nine out of 10 chance of hitting the dots. So like the market has a nine out of 10 chance. So basically what I'm saying here is we have a strategy that uses a pattern recognition technology to where the strike rate, now we call when your pattern repeats itself, we call that a strike rate. The strike rate is upwards of 90%. Type in a me, M-E, into the question section box if you want me to give you some examples of specifically how the mark reacts to the uh, destination. Now, this does not uh, repaint. Repainting means that the indicator visually will change to curb fit the market conditions. That's not what this is. Um, because the rules are relatively simple and straightforward, the, it's because it's a formula-driven, high price, low price, close price formula. Uh, it uses fixed fixed um, prices, so therefore it will work in all market conditions, which is pretty neat. Okay, so here's how this works. Let me walk you through it. Let me go ahead and minimize this. Bring this over. Okay. So we're going to go one one by one and walk you through the process. So this is 6 p.m. Eastern time, and so we got to wait till 8 p.m. Eastern time, but here we go. Bingo. So you're going to notice there's a little dot on your screen, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and this dot – Believe it or not, has up to nine 
out of 10 chance that the market's going to fall and touch that dot. And so all I want you to do is watch the charts on your screen and notice how this market will begin to slowly drift towards these dots. Bingo. So that is now considered fulfilled or that is a destination has been hit. So therefore the opportunity to use this is now over with. So if, an example is if you were to sold the market to the destination, then the trade is done. Okay. So now you have to wait another two hours for the next destination to present itself. So you're not trading crazy amounts, but this is specifically designed for someone who wants to be a little bit more active in the markets. So here you have this little dot, and that this is at 2200. And so it doesn't matter where you live in the world. What's, what's neat about this is the futures market on the CME Chicago Exchange feed. You can trade from 6 p.m. Eastern time to right up to 5 p.m. Eastern time. So it's right around 23 hours a day from Sunday through Friday where you can utilize this information. So you'll notice that the market has an up to 9 out of 10 chance of just basically coming up and hitting these dots. And let's see what happens. So the market goes against us a little bit, but that's okay. We're just showing you how the market reacts. And bingo, the market hit the destination. So that one's done. Now, in between, you will notice that the market had another destination, simply put, uh, right below. And that was fulfilled while this one was being fulfilled, but that that's another thing. Um, now we're going to wait two hours, and we're going to wait for the next destination. And that's really how this thing works. So here we go. There's a destination. There's a dot. And all we're saying is, look, price is expected to fall and to fulfill this destination. It has an up to a 9 out of 10 chance of doing so. Now, it doesn't have to happen within two hours. We're just saying price is expected to fall, and bingo, it hits it. Type in a yes, why yes, into the question section box if you're seeing – how this is somewhat working. You you may not be an expert on it right now, but the gist of this is, hey, every two hours a formula is a, a formula is um, ran. Based upon that formula, a price will will be calculated, and that price will be marked by these purple dots. And we have up to a ninety percent chance that the market's actually going to hit those purple dots. Okay, good. So Eugene says yes. William says yes. Harlan says yes. Active Trader says yes. Uh, Harlan says this use only futures. Yes. So we design it specifically for futures. We haven't tested this in other market conditions. Uh, we know that some people talk about using it in other market conditions, students of ours, uh, but we don't have any data. So we can't say if it's good or bad in other markets. But this works for any future, um, any future symbol. Here's another one. And you will notice how this market, we're going to anticipate that the market rallies, and let's see what ends up taking place. Active says rock and roll. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive what this thing does. And so you notice destination fulfillment. Here's another destination. We're going to expect this one to be fulfilled as well, up to 9 out of 10 chance. Bingo, That's that's been fulfilled. And let's keep going. Now here's, we're getting on today's movement. So here's a destination. This presented itself at 10 o'clock this morning. And all we're going to say is the market is expected to fall 9 out of 10 times. And let's see what happens. Bingo, market hits it. Uh, yeah, uh, DAN, you can do that as well. No problem. Like with the Euro futures, no no, no problem. Any, any future contract, period. Okay, so first things first. I wanted to show you the pattern by itself, the raw pattern. And the reason why is if you're going to use a strategy, it's highly important that you understand what the strategy actually is. And more than likely, you're using some sort of pattern, and you got to understand how often your pattern repeats. And if you don't have that answer and you're not successful, that may be one of the reasons why. A lot of it is because of risk management, but ultimately it's probably because you're using a pattern that just simply doesn't work anymore. Okay, This pattern is working up to 9 out of 10 times. Now, I want to prove that to you, and I don't want to just say it. I want to show you. And so one of the things I'm going to do 
And I'm basically going to, uh, today is the 9th, so let's go find the 1st. Okay, let's go find April the 1st. And let's just show you what this market has done this month in regards to patterns. Now, the goal is to get a 90% strike rate. Let's see. Uh, all we're going to do is just count the destinations on the screen. We're going to find out how many have been hit, how many have not been hit. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. So there's 73 destinations. And let's go find the ones that have not been fulfilled. Well, price just never equaled it. And that one has not been fulfilled. That one was. This one has not been fulfilled. Uh, this one has not been fulfilled. Price never equaled it. Uh, this one was fulfilled. Okay, perfect. Uh, this one, price never fulfilled it. Price never fulfilled this one. And here we go. Okay, so let's look at the odds. 73 destinations since April 1st. One, two, three, four, five have not been hit. So you have 68 hits, which would be your strike rate. And 68 divided by 73 is running a 93.1, 93.15% strike rate. Okay. Type in a me, M-E, into the question section box. If you like the idea of having a strategy that uses pattern recognition technology that works up to 93.15% of the time. Active Trader says, how would you determine which direction the market is uh, going to have greater success, or can you trade both directions? Some people do trade both directions. We don't suggest that. We actually keep it relatively simple. We just go to the daily time frame and we draw buy zone, sell zones. If you're in the buy zone, we take buy trades. Um, so like if your daily's in the buy zone and your one hour's in the buy zone, then we just take buy trades. If your daily's in the sell zone and your one hour's in the sell zone, you take sell trades. The only time that you can really use both, so take buys and sells, is when there's a transition like we just had. So like if your daily time frame is U-turning, so if it hit like a Fibonacci extension and there's going to be three or four or five days of a fight, that's where both really works out. Outside of that, you just want to trade in the zone. It's pretty pretty normal stuff. Okay, so uh, BAL says, where are the entry points and stop loss points? Ooh, bingo. That is very, very important. So the, que the big question is going to be, okay, so we have a pattern recognition technology. Great. And... Now it comes down to, well, now it comes down to, well, where do we get in, right? Because, and where, where do we get out? How do we protect ourselves? Because the reality of this is five out of the 73 destinations just simply didn't work. And what you don't want to happen is you don't want those five losing trades or the 10% of the destinations that don't work. You do not want that to wipe out your profits because you can still win nine trades in a row. And if you're losing trades big enough, it takes away all your money. And that, that just doesn't make any sense. And so what I want to introduce to you is a entry strategy that's relatively forgiving. And what I mean by that is when you have an entry strategy – and you're able to diversify or split up your entries, you can pretty much tip the scale in your favor and have the edge on the market simply because the markets tend to repeat themselves. Let me kind of walk you through what I mean. It will all make sense in a moment. Okay. So when the markets move, 
the market's moving waves. They'll make higher highs and higher lows and higher highs and higher lows. And here is the overall goal that, that most people try to do. They will try to draw a trend line. Uh, you know, they'll probably use a stochastic RSI to find overbought, oversold. They'll use gap strategies to help determine where the market may go and targets, etc. But ultimately, and if you want to participate, you know, type in a yes if you'd agree with this. But type in a yes if, if it logically makes sense to say, well, I'm going to try to find the low higher than this low so I can buy the market and the uptrend. So yeah, active trader says yes, David says yes, Peter says yes, Caroline says yes, Faith says yes, Don says yes, perfect. Okay, so in this scenario, we're going to then, there, there's really two ways to go about this. I'm going to show you the old way. I call it the old way of trading. So the old way of trading, it's really simple. It's when you invest or place a bet and let's just say, hypothetically speaking, it's 500 bucks, right? So you just place one single trade, and that's it. Just one single trade, and you have a single entry, and you have a single exit. And that's just kind of what you're going to do. Now, <clears throat> in this scenario, we're going to buy the market. And this is usually what gets people in trouble. They invest $500, and they say to themselves, well... I don't want to lose a lot of money, so I'm going to have a relatively tighter stop. And you may say, well, why don't they just plate their stop here? Well, often they say to themselves, or new traders will say, well, that's just too much risk. I'm not comfortable with that. So they kind of have a tighter stop. Type in a me, that makes a little bit of sense. You kind of have like a tighter stop, and so you just place it right underneath the U-turn. And then you have a limit up here and you kind of say to yourself, well, this is all makes sense because I'm going to buy an uptrend. I'm going to find the low price higher than this low place a tight stop. And then there's my limit. So everything is kosher. Um, says, how do you enter and manage the stop losses? I am referring to those that never hit. Uh, can you answer that? Yes. You're going to lose those trades that never hit. And so this is going to be a formula where when you're going to win more than you lose. And I'm not, going to sit here and say that we're going to have a 100% win ratio. So we just got to make sure that when we lose, we don't lose a lot. And when we win, we win a lot and we win often. So this is usually what ends up happening. So the market comes down, boom, stops them out, and then goes their way, right? Type it in me, M-E, this is kind of like your nightmare that you're living. You enter into the market, it goes against you, you get a little fearful, you close out due to fear of losing money, or your stop was too tight, you close out with a loss, only to watch the market go your way. Right. I call that dying by a thousand paper cuts, and if you don't fix it, you're going to quit. Just the reality of this. You're, if you don't fix this issue, you're going to quit trading because you're being punished for being right. And when you're being punished for being right, why in the world do you want to play? Right? It's just kind of how this any real trader knows exactly what I'm talking about. So a way that you can fix that, and you don't need you don't need to work with me to do it. You can do it on your own. It's it's a relatively straightforward thing. I call it the new way of trading, but it's really not the new way. It's been around for a long time. So I call this the new way of trading. Instead of investing Instead of investing $500 one time, you invest $100 up to five times. And so what you're going to do is diversify your entry and give yourself the best chance of finding success. And all you're going to do is just like what most 401ks do, cost average, what, like what most money managers do, cost average in. And you're essentially, you're not doing a martingale strategy where you increase your investment sizes. You're going to trade with good risk management, but you're going to say, hey, I'm going to buy the market here. I'm going to buy the market here. I'm going to buy the market here. And then down here would be my stop. And so you're prepared to invest $100, $100, $100. Here's your stop. So you're not investing more money. You're just giving yourself the best chance of being right so you can stop being punished for being right. So here's traditionally what ends up taking place. 
Okay, ideally, the market just goes your way. But we already know you're pretty bad at finding the U-turn, so let's not even say it's going to do that. Um, the reality of this is it's probably going to come against you first, like it normally does, and then the market will go your way. And then at this scenario, you'll make money because your first trade wins, your second trade wins, and you win on both trades. So instead of losing, you actually win. What happens if you're wrong? Well, even if you're wrong, your first trade wins. I mean, your first trade you're in, your second trade you're in. Then here comes the third trade. Boom. And you say, oh, man, you know, I'm, I'm wrong in my analysis. The market's reversing. Well, traditionally, the markets are going to move in waves. And they, they traditionally touch the same price points over and over and over again. So just like how it made higher highs and higher lows on the way up, Traditionally, it's going to make lower lows, lower highs on the way down. And it's when the market pulls back, your first trade loses, loses a little bit, your second trade makes a little bit, your third trade makes a lot of it, you can close out of the position either at break even with a little bit of a win or a little bit of a loss. And what you just did is you turned a losing trade into a winning trade. So think about it like this. If you can learn the skill of diversifying your entry and just splitting it up, you win when you're right. You have a chance to break even or make a little bit of money when you're wrong. Type in a me, M-E, into the question section box if you like the idea of making money when you're right and having a chance to break even or make a little bit of money even when you're wrong. Because that's the true skill that really expedites growth for most people that we have worked with. Now, what if – Hypothetically speaking, what if you turned around and you said, okay, I'm going to couple a diversification entry strategy, which is designed to turn losing trades into winning trades, and I'm going to couple it with an exit strategy that has a pattern recognition technology that works up to 93.15% of the time. Type in a yes, why yes, if you think that you can make some money with that. You have a pattern recognition technology that works up to 9 out of 10 times. Currently, it's working 93.15% of the time. And that's over the last 73 destinations. That's not cherry-picked. That's live market, by the way. And then you coupled it with this diversification entry strategy. I think it's fair to say you'll probably find some success doing that. Uh, active traders, yeah, it looks like it could be some cash flow. Now, what if I told you we took this entire process and we automated the entire process? And what if I told you that last year alone, from February to February, this generated, we ran our strategy. By the way, this is what's called hypothetical or simulated results. We ran our strategy on data. What if I told you it averaged $13,678 a month? on your S&P 500 even in futures. And it averaged $13,325 a month on the Nasdaq 100 even in futures. 3,140 US dollars a month average on the Euro futures. And then we have students reporting making $12,000, $12,083 within the same calendar month using this strategy. We have students reporting making uh, over 10,000 US dollars in a single week using this strategy. Individuals reported making over 1,500 US dollars in a day using this strategy, 4,700 US dollars in a week using this strategy, 3,000 US dollars in a day using this strategy, uh, or 500 US dollars over a two day period. Now, it's actually pretty, pretty impressive. Now, what we did is we put this entire process into an automated format. And you can use this on NinjaTrader or you can use with NinjaTrader 8 charting software or you can use this on TradingView charting software on the indicator only. Or if you want to use a self-directed auto strategy, then you can use it on uh, NinjaTrader. But in front of you is the actual charts, is the actual tool itself. So we built this tool and this tool takes the destination as exits 
And then we built a tool where you can program how you want to enter into the market. Type in a me, M-E, into the question section box if you want me to walk you through how this works. I can walk you through all the steps, how it literally takes – you can have all the control over the opportunities. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, uh, every on the right-hand side is your control panel. It's very straightforward. You can decide to go long, you can decide to go short, or you can decide to do both, which means you can either buy the market and you can sell the market. Not at the same time. It's just if there is a destination above the market, you start buying, and then, there, and then once that's done, if there's a destination below, you start selling. <coughs> Excuse me. So this market's very much bullish. Markets keep drifting up, so we're going to keep we're keeping it on long. Now you will have all the control of how you want to enter into the market. Now we do this off the futures market, and so we monitor. Uh, price movement known as ticks, T-I-C-K. And you'll notice that I have my minimum uh, ticks for my destination is 40 ticks, which basically means it will require the market to fall 40 ticks below the destination before I enter into the market buying. Now, I can decide how big or how small I want my stop. Now, I have my stop at 500 ticks, but I'm going to be focusing on the micro contracts. Last year, the CME, Chicago Exchange, came out with a brand new way of trading called micro e-mini contracts. And so you can literally trade one-tenth of the investment, trade a micro contract, and still make some pretty decent money or have an opportunity to do so. Now, I'm going to say every 100 ticks the market goes against me, I'm going to diversify and size into the market. I'm going to do this on the M2K, which is, what's, which is the micro of your e-mini, Russell. And I'm going to give a good solid test to say, okay, let's do this from the 16th. And if you look at the 16th, that's a good solid one, two, three, almost four weeks, uh, almost four weeks ago. Okay, and I'm going to go GTC, which is good to cancel. I'm going to run it. Now, right now, what's happening is it's calculating based upon the settings, and it's going to give me some results, some performances. Now, here's the graph, but I want to show you the statistics of the actual trades themselves. First things first. How much is the total net profit? If you, if you can take a look, I want to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. If you can type into the question section box the total of net profit, I just want to make sure that you see what I see, and I'm seeing what you're seeing. Yeah, it's $4,245.50. So basically it's four weeks. So for those of you who actively trade or for those of you who invest or those of you looking to invest, let's talk about the end goal of mine. Let's say you're just starting out, you're just learning how this stuff works. Type in a me, M-E, into the question section box if you'd be pretty happy with an extra 4245 U.S. dollars in your pocket in the last four weeks. Yeah, hands down. So what was the overall experience? Well, the percent profitability was 81.55%. Now, you may say... I thought the strike rate was up to 9 out of 10. Yes, but when you bring in a stop, which is an automatic exit for loss, and when you bring in a limit and entry strategies, what ends up happening is you begin to alter your pattern. So whenever you have a strategy, it's always important to have your strategy pattern to be at a very, very high price point or a very, sorry, very high strike rate. And then you couple it with an entry strategy. So uh, here's the what it looks like on the actual graph. So here's the chart. Let me walk you through specifically what it's doing. So we'll go through a handful of trades so you kind of see. But essentially what ends up happening, and this is, by the way, if you want this to be done completely automatically, it can be done automatically, which means – if you don't want to place the trades yourself, you don't have to. This can be done automatically through NinjaTrader 8, a charting software, which is really quite nice. Okay. <clears throat> now, you have a destination above, and we have an entry criteria. Market falls down, meets the entry criteria. We then buy the market. Now, you can do this manually or automatically. Uh, personally, I prefer the automation. 
simply because it removes the emotions from trading. Many people are emotional when it comes to their trades, and so they begin to make emotional decisions. When you have an automation aspect, then it takes the emotions out, which really helps out with finding success. Okay, so then the market, you buy the market, and what this self-directed auto strategy is going to do is hold on to the trade till it touches the blue line, and then bingo, it closes. Now, if you have any questions on how this works, type into the question section box, and I'll be more than happy to answer them along the way, okay? Um, says, how do you enter and manage the stop loss? I am referring to those, yep, and so this is how you manage it. You manage the stop losses by what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to try to find the average true range, and you have indicators that can do that. But essentially, you're going to find how the market waves, and then you're going to base your entry stops and limits around there. Now, what we do on our side as individuals is we have an entire class. We have a four-hour live class as well as an on-demand class, checklist, manuals, how-to videos, where we teach you how to do this yourself. That's very, very important. Okay, so let's keep going. So. Markets begin to move. We're going to wait the two hours. We're going to see if we can get another destination to present itself. There's a the destination on the screen. We buy the market. Market goes against me. I diversify into the buy trade. So I got two trades. Bingo. So instead of losing my first trade, I diversified my entries. I dropped my contracts, and then I was actually able to win the trade. Okay. Now, now, we're going to wait the two hours for the next destination, and let's see what ends up taking place. Bingo, right there. Type in a yes in the question section box if you can see the destination that is below the live market. Now, okay, now because we're in the buy zone, I'm a big believer when it comes to trading that a person should only be buying or only be selling. It's it, When the person is buying and selling in the same day, they're not having a, a strong understanding of the longer term direction. Because if you trade in the direction of momentum or trade in the direction of the trend, traditionally you will win more trades. Because the longer you hold your position, uh, the better chance that it's actually going to work out because you're trading in the direction of the trend. So even though we have a destination below the live market, we're not going to short the trade. We're not going to short it. Even though that did work out, we're, just, we're not going to take it because that's usually the 10% that doesn't work out. You probably see some examples in here. And so let's see what takes place. The market begins to move, making higher. Uh, we're going to wait the two hours. In this scenario, the destination was hit within the first five minutes, so that one's done. Here's the destination hit within five minutes, so that one was done. Never met our entry criteria. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. And bingo, finally we got one. So destination presented itself. Here's the first entry. There's the exit. Now, this, again, you can either do this manually or you can do this in a self-directed auto strategy. Um, here's a question. For those of you who are monitoring this or watching this, how many of you are saying to yourself, I would like to do this manually? Or how many of you are more saying, well, the automation is probably going to suit me? If the automation is going to suit you, type in auto. Just kind of want to see the mix of the room. Okay. Yeah, David says auto. Peter says auto. Caroline says auto. Uh, Josh says auto. Dave says manual. Member says manual. Yeah, some people do manual. That's not an issue. Some people do automation. It's more of a personal preference. Just understand you can do both. But the key here, it's working. It's working. All right, so I have less than 10 minutes of time together. But the big takeaway here is a couple of things. Number one, hopefully what you've learned from me is if you're going to develop a strategy, it all starts with the pattern. And you want your pattern to be able to repeat itself over and over and over again at a very high winning percent. 
our pattern with Destination Trader repeats itself up to 9 out of 10 times. Right now, a little bit over 92%. After you have a pattern that repeats itself, what you then do is you couple it with an entry strategy. The entry strategy is designed to control risk and maximize profits. When you develop an entry strategy, you understand that you're not going to win 100% of your trades, but it's, you're going to more than likely win half your trades. When the pattern presents itself, coupled with your entry criteria, that's where the true magic happens. So here's the destination. Here's the entry. Here's the diversification of the entry. And here's the third diversification of the entry. And let's see what ends up taking place. Here's the fourth criteria of the diversification. And then all four of these trades all rally up, fulfill the destination. And because we're trading with smaller investments, we give ourselves the better chance of finding success and emotionally being able to follow through with the trade. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, Josh, um, you may be saying to yourself, but Josh, I do get emotional. Great, then use the automation because the automation is specifically designed to take a non-emotional approach. Okay, now we got to get go. Uh, Baldwin says, where's the stop? So we have our stop right now at 500. But if you want a smaller stop, you can do it because you have all the control over your own risk. It's just the big thing is give your trade some breathing room. Let it let it breathe because, number one, this works. Now, there's two things that we've learned that really mess this strategy up. So when somebody gets their hands on it, they go, this is what – when they say this doesn't work is because of one of two things. Number one, they enter in too early, and number two, they risk too much money. If you risk too much money in a single trade, what I mean by that is if you risk it all, it's only a matter of time until you lose it all. And so this is what the graph looks like, a little bit over $4,000 U.S. dollars in this last month, which is great. You know, it puts you at a run rate of right around $48,000 a year, and we're trading micros here. This is not trading a full e mini contract, so the risk is relatively small. It's not a 100% winner, but right now it's winning 81.55% of the trades. It's not based upon just a handful of trades. It has a good amount of trades, and statistics are relatively strong. Um, I have to get going. I have six minutes, but let me ask a question in the room. How many of you are watching this and you're saying to yourself, um, I am interested in, as long as it's affordable, I'm, I'm interested in enrolling into the program? Type in a me, M-E, into the question section box. If you're like, as long as it's affordable, I'm, I'm interested. Okay. So David says me, Caroline says me, Josh says me, Johansson says me. Here's what we're going to do to make this super simple. N number one, we're, we're going to make sure that everyone understands what we're doing here. We're going to give a performance guarantee and because we truly believe in this uh, program. Here's how the program, here's how the performance guarantee is going to work. Okay. If the destinations do not have, okay, if the destination does not have an 80%, at least an 80% strike rate over the next 100 destinations, specifically starting today on the E-Mini Russell 2000, then we'll give you another 12 months of the program for free. Type in a me if you think that's relatively fair. You go, well, you know. Worst case scenario, you get another 12, 12 months for free. Best case scenario, you're going to win so many dang trades, it's not going to matter. That, so we're going to do that for the first 24 individuals who enroll into the program. Now, we only have about four minutes of, four minutes of time, so literally I'm going to try to make this as super simple as possible. Okay, I'm going to give you some details of the program, and then I'm going to create a first right of refusal list. And here's the, how this works. Now, this is what's called the destination trader. The destination trader, what it does, okay, and what it is, it is a trading strategy. It's designed to achieve consistent returns. It's user-friendly. 
simple, out of the box, ready, works on TradingView and works on NinjaTrader. You get a four hour on demand class. You get the destination trader calculated indicator, two strategies, four checklists, how to videos, online education portal, and the Kickstart class, the recording Kickstart class. I am out of time, but if you would like to be provided the opportunity to enroll in this program, here's what I need you to do right now. I need you to click on the orange button. Okay, I need you to click on the orange button in the question section box with the arrow in it. And down at the bottom says, enter a question for staff. I need you to type your telephone number in there. Here's the reason why. I have 24 of these spots. We have over 100 individuals in the room. This will be a first come, first serve. We are running an investor expo special. Uh, the savings is relatively large, and so therefore we're not going to advertise the savings because after this presentation is over with, we're not going to honor the savings anymore. Simply put, because it's a great deal. It is going to be extremely affordable, plus we're going to give you a performance guarantee. I think you're going to be pretty surprised by what you actually get. But for those of you who are interested, type your telephone number in into the question section box. As soon as you do, here's what's going to happen. We will put you on what's called the first right of refusal list, which means we're going to put a list together and we're going to contact you first. We'll contact you, answer your questions. We will provide you what the promotion enrollment is. And then from there, you can say, yes, I'm in or no, I'm not. If you're not, that's not a problem. We'll just ask that you release your spot so that we can give it to somebody else because we have 24 of these. And we're going to give a a uh, oh oh I think you're I think you're going to be pretty surprised because yeah we're actually going to double your enrollment too so we're going to double the enrollment we're going to give you the performance guarantee and you're going to receive the investor expo savings so at this point in time go ahead and click on the orange button and then type your telephone number in um, Gory have your telephone number Peter got your telephone number Caroline have your telephone number David have your telephone number uh, Gerard got your telephone number. Peter, I got your telephone. Appreciate the opportunity. And uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll contact you. Not an issue. Okay, I am out of time. It is 1.15 p.m. Eastern time, my time, uh, which I believe is 10.15 Pacific time. So I want to say thank you so much to Anna. I, I truly appreciate the chance to work with you. And thank you so much for having me on here on Investor uh, Expo. For everyone who joined, hopefully you were able to see uh, that success can be found in the markets. It just starts with a pattern, and then after the pattern, couple it with an entry and exit strategy. And as long as you have good risk management, you can begin to stack the odds in your favor. So, hey, everyone, this is Joshua Martinez. And on that note, every day, helping people find a way. If you expressed your interest, go ahead and stay by your phone. We're going to contact you now. So today I'm going to be talking about live market analysis, um, mainly with the E-mini. And yeah, I'm ready to go. Perfect. I just made you an organizer that you would be able to see all the questions yeah. from the attendees. And you're, you have 45 minutes for your presentation. Thank you. Super. Thanks, Anna. Okay, hang on one sec. Let me just get these question, the question box open so that it's ready to go. Hi, everybody. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am very excited on this Thursday morning. I don't know how you guys are doing. How's the weather? I know that these have been absolutely bonkers times, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's been... Um, we're going down in history, aren't we? I guess that's how you could look at it. So let me open up my um, full chart, full screen here. All right. So, hi, I am Marina. I am the Trader Chick, and I am very, very excited to be here with you guys. Today, what I want to talk about is four steps to analyzing the live market for high probability trades. And I just wanted to let you guys know, I really love questions. And the more questions you guys ask me, then the more I'm able to help you guys out as well, because I know that everybody has questions. 
Um, everyone has different kind of strategies. I like to really, really keep um, my trading super simple. And before we get to the live market, I do want to share what I look at and how I look at it. So this is basically what we'll be covering in the presentation today. It will be understanding market movement, using indicators for best entries and target profits, reading the live market and spotting trade setups, and also scalping. I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about my own strategy, which I am considered a scalper. So you'll understand what that is and how I apply it to my trading. So just a quick intro of who I am. I am Arena, the trader chick. I am an expat. I live in Antigua, Guatemala. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of Antigua, Guatemala. We are um, in Central America, and this is my family. I'm married to a Guatemalan. That's kind of how I ended up here. Although before living in Guatemala, we first lived in Costa Rica. So I've been technically an expat in Central America for over 18 years, and it's great. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's been the best thing that I've ever done. Um, I am trilingual. So I speak Russian. I was actually, I am a Russian refugee from the USSR, back from the Soviet Union time. 41 years ago during the Cold War. So technically Russian is my mother language, but English is more my real language because we moved to the United States when I was six. Um, so I was raised in the US, in New York, um, outside of Manhattan. And obviously English is my main language, but I am completely fluent in Russian. And because I have been living in Central America for the past 18 years. I'm obvious, I also am completely fluent in Spanish. However, Spanish came to me later in life. And it's a really big difference when you learn a language later in life than when you learn it when you're really tiny or if you're born with a language, right? So that is has kind of helped me with my trading, uh, interestingly enough, because I recognize that the market actually speaks to us. It has an actual language. And that's what I really want to dive into with you guys today and bring that up. Also, before I became a trader, I know that this is a huge thing. A lot of people think that to become a day trader, you need to have a financial background, you need to have a math background and all this other stuff. Kind of just, you know, I think it's people like to form stories of why they can't enter this field because it can seem a little bit off-putting, definitely fearful. Before I became a day trader, I was a fitness instructor and a travel writer. Um, to this day, I actually still have my travel site, which was which I've now been owner of for over 12 years. And you can find my travels, my family travels on travelexperta.com. So this is what I was before I became a day trader. And I started trading about eight years ago, actually almost eight years ago. On my 40th birthday, I decided to go all in. I've had, I've always been pulled to day trading, but eight years ago is when I just dived in. I joined some academies and I just started to work with different mentors and all this training and whatnot. And that's kind of when I began my training journey. I call it a journey because as you all know, day trading is probably one of the most challenging um, careers you could do, not so much as for the actual day trading as much as it is a mental thing. Um, and I always say that day trading has become my greatest master teacher of my life because this is probably one of the only uh, careers that is so in the moment with your decisions kind of like I think that I've heard one time somebody mentioned that day trading was compared to an emergency um, what are those called like trauma the trauma uh, specialist right and the emergency units of hospitals because it's so Full on, you have to know right away what to do. And when you're day trading, it's so similar to that, right? You have to make decisions so quickly and in the moment. And those decisions could, you know, either 
give you, you know, positivity or become very negative, right? So, and th that's such a mental thing. I always say that anyone could actually learn how to trade, but your own mind, your demons could really get in the way, right? Um, such a psychological thing. And that's why day trading, I personally recommend it to everyone simply because of the personal growth you go through to become a better trader. So day trading isn't only about when you open up your charts. It's, you know, there's that saying, if you do one thing, you do everything. How you do one thing is how you do everything. So with day trading, it's so micro, you know, like those decisions, everything that you do, it's so in the moment and you recognize that this is how you can handle the majority of things in your life, right? Um, and that's why I day trading has truly been the most transformational for me. And I've always been so grateful for it. So what happened to me was it was a very difficult journey for me to get to becoming profitable, consistent, and to actually develop a strong strategy. And after losing a ton of money um, and even giving up, I quit for like three or four months. But there's something with day trading that just simply keeps calling you back for more and more and more. Just because the main reason why is because we all, every single one of you guys who is here today, I don't know if you guys are successful. I don't know if you guys are breaking even. I don't know if you guys are at a loss, but we all know that it is a doable thing, that we can do it. And logically speaking, we can, we really can. And I think that's what keeps us bringing us back because it's that we can think to why aren't we yet right sorry i had to let my doggy in she's been very weird lately um i think she's going crazy from the, the quarantine too much mama papa time anyways um so when i came back after quitting and because i just couldn't stay away anymore i decided to do something different i ended up stripping my charts entirely i had no more indicators i just went with the naked charts just to start to understand what was going on and one thing i recognized was that it has like a language and this is why i go back to me being trilingual because when i learned spanish um it took me a long it took me over a year to really learn spanish when you first begin a new language everything has to be translated it's so unfamiliar and then one day you'll wake up and uh, boom all of a sudden you don't have to translate anymore you just speak it i might not be a hundred percent fluent but i'm certainly 80 percent fluent or even probably 90 and i don't have to sit through the translations anymore and that's what is what happened to me with the market after i went back and just started to study the market understand what it's doing i started to see wait there are some total basics that the market has for us and if you do not understand those basics those basic language those basic words you can't succeed as a trader it's just like me entering you know into a room full of spanish speakers and not even understanding how to greet them or how to say thank you or any of that right i would completely fail they would be looking at me like who's this person why are you here right it's the same with the market the market is like if you don't understand what i'm saying to you how are you planning on ever being good at it and that's something that i realized and this is what i want to show you guys today so first and foremost i have a gift for you everything i'm going to be showing you guys today and more i have a free cheat sheet i call it a cheat sheet it's actually a cheat sheet that i personally use myself when i trade so go for it it's completely free you can just put it in making of a day trader.com and you'll get it right away making of a day trader.com and then you can start to apply whatever you know you can start to apply it to your trading you know maybe it'll be super useful and be that that particular thing that gives you that edge all right so let's begin with the absolute basics hang on i want to see if anybody's got any questions here um remember guys please please ask me any questions you have i am totally here to help you guys all right, so market movement and the breakdown of a trend. We all understand that there are three trends. It's a given. We knew this even if you don't trade. I could probably ask my kids and they probably would come up with the same thing, that you have an upward trend, meaning the market is going up, 
or the downward trend. Obviously, the market is going down, but we also have a sideways trend, meaning that it's it could become stagnant, right? The market can become stagnant. And understanding that these three exist is crucial. And it's obviously pretty easy to understand when you know, when your pivots are higher than the other pivot, that means it's going up. When your pivots are lower than the other pivots, that means it's going down. However, what I call sideways trends, which is pretty much a consolidation area, a transition area, um, in exhaustion pattern, what slowdown, whatever you want to call it, it's the exact, it's the same thing, no matter what, right? So, what is it? To me, it is literally the trader's worst enemy and we have to have to learn how to spot them and avoid them and this is where i would say the majority of our money as traders gets lost because sometimes you could have awesome days and then all of a sudden you could end up losing it all and it's usually and i can guarantee almost pretty much guarantee if you go back and see where you've lost your money it would usually be in the beginning of sideways trends or during the sideways trends and why is that so basically this is coming back to the mindset right this is when the psychology really messes with us so here's a good example this is how i ended up losing so much of my money because my mind was totally playing tricks on me so let's say today this particular day we're having an awesome uptrend that means the market is going up and all of a sudden it starts to go into a sideways trend so what used to happen to me was my mind used to start to play tricks on me it used to tell me okay the market's been going up all day it's going to correct i'm going to be looking for a short i'm going to be looking for it to go down or the other thing was, well, when the market's been going up, it's got to continue. I'm going to be looking for that high. I'm sorry, for that long. For I'm going to go look for more. So when the sideways market happens, none of those things that I just told myself are true. Because all that is really happening and what the market is telling me in its language is that, hey, Marina, it's a sideways market. Sit back and watch and wait until the decisions have been made. Okay, so um, hang on, I see somebody here. Okay, um, I, so there's a question for the in the organizers. I don't know if that is the panelists or if that is somebody watching. Anyways, so when you uh, understand how you can read the market and read when the sideways market is happening that's when you will be able to understand and i'm going to show you exactly how that happens so this is what a consolidation market looks like when the pivots are pretty much one on top, top it, touching each other and yes it is it is actually pretty simple to identify when this is happening and i'm going to show you how that happens and how it really really starts to happen is look the market has areas it loves its areas loves areas and it respects it we as the individual traders retail traders we need to understand those areas and that is called support and resistance we need to identify them we need to understand when they are happening and we need to respect them so what is a resistance area it's when your pivots are hitting on uh, hitting more or less in the same area right so what i like to do is i like to start to draw in after i have a good three to four hits okay so if i have these four three to four hits that's when i know that there's a resistance area happening and what happens during the day especially because i'm an intraday trader the market will and most definitely does revisit those areas so if i'm here and the market is showing me that is going down and now it's showing me the support area which is a floor and it decided to go up since i've already drawn in my resistance area boom I know right here that there's a very high chance it's going to hit in that particular area. And if that's the case, I don't want to be anywhere near there. So I'm already protecting myself knowing. However, if it breaks through, super, then I'm all over looking for a breakout trade. And that's all through the language. So this is what a support area looks like. It's the floor of a trend. Or if you're in a sideways market, it's the bottom, right? Because here, 
I didn't draw in the support area because I wanted to focus on the resistance area. This is actually now starting to be a sideways market because you have a pretty strong support area forming. So this is what that channel looks like, a support, right? And this happens. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. And when that happens, I call this a FOBO, a fake out breakout. So I want to, and if it happens and I'm in a trade because I'm looking for that breakout and I lose, which can happen, I know that that's time for me to sit out and not go for any more shorts because the market is still not decided and is still in that area. How do you spot this? How do you know when this is happening? And this is, to me, the most important languages of trading. Reversal patterns, double tops, triple tops, double bottoms, triple bottoms, head and shoulders, and divergences. This, to me, is everything. So obviously, in the live market, what we're noticed we have is I use two indicators. I use the EMA lines, and this bottom right here are my MACDs. Okay, so my back D's right here, and you can start to see divergence. What is divergence? It's when your pivots go here, going down, yet here, look at that. Even though it's pretty much the same, it's headed up. What is that showing to me? It's not telling me, oh, Marina, it's going to go long. No, because what it could do is it could break a divergence. What it is telling me is, Marina, sit out because right now there's indecision you are now coming into a sideways movement you could also just have a double uh reversal pattern also when i see reversal patterns with divergences i am not coming anywhere near the markets anymore because that is a huge indicator to me that the potential of a sideways market stop coming or a change in trend happening is really really high probability what does that mean to me? It means I sit and I wait until the market gives me more confirmation. And the way that happens is I sit and watch and I watch the strength. Here's a perfect example also of a triple bottom. Okay, so it starts with a non-divergence. There's still a little bit. But then when I hit this double bottom, look at that massive divergence. I know that something's about to happen and boom, that is exactly what happened. It just, it would have stopped me out if I decided to continue going short because I look for smaller targets. Head and shoulders, I'm not the biggest fan of head and shoulders. So, but I do like to use them as a reconfirmation. What does that mean? So head and shoulders, this is literally like your, your body, right? You have a head and you have two shoulders. So we have one pivot that is, you know, a shoulder, and then you're, you have the head. And this could be exactly the same going in long. It doesn't matter if it's going up or going down. It's the exact same idea. And then you have the head. And now all of a sudden, the next pivot doesn't come to your head. That means that there's a slowdown. That means that the market does not seem to want to continue in that direction. Doesn't mean that it won't break through, but at the moment, the goal is to sit and wait. And it's a very important position to be in. It's the position of sitting and waiting for that confirmation. You never just want to blindly be in <clears throat> or guessing, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So breakouts. I love breakouts. I find them to be some of the most highly uh, profitable uh, trades that we could watch. What are breakouts? So the way I like to explain a breakout is you have you have to go to you are right here at the bottom, right in the support area, and your friend lives north. You are headed north to visit your friend. In this particular case, it's north because we're going up. Identical could be done for a downtrend, just going south. So you get in your car and you're driving north, and all of a sudden. There's a construction worker and it's telling you, sorry, the road is under construction. You got to go east, take a detour. So all of a sudden you're going to the right, but it's going longer and longer. And you're not sure, are they even going to open the road again? Is there a big, huge hole in the ground? And they're going to just tell me, forget it. The road is completely closed. So what is that? You're in a decision area, right? You're in a zone of, I'm not sure what's going on. Are you, when you're in that kind of a zone, would you be taking any risks right would you be just going to the left just because you might come to dead ends no chances are if you're in a car and there's a detour you listen sideways markets are like that and then all of a sudden construction worker says hey the road is fixed you're ready to go north again boom this is your breakout so you're just headed in that same direction right 
So that's when you have that confirmation again. Okay, guys, did you get my cheat sheet? Remember, makingofadaytrader.com. All of this is in there, plus a lot more information so you can apply it to your trading. And now we are going into the live market. All right, guys, give me a second to open up my charts. That's my son's. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the live market. So first and foremost, before I get into what is happening right here and what I'm seeing, I want to explain to you what is um, what I trade and what you're looking at so that you guys kind of understand exactly what you're looking at. All right, so I trade the ES Mini. The ES Mini is the S&P 500 <coughs> index in the futures market okay so this is what my chart looks like i use a 610 tick chart i don't know if any of you guys um used tick charts or have you guys ever heard of tick charts i would love to hear uh, a little bit of feedback what do you guys trade Tell, please let me know what you're trading um do you also trade the e-minis and if so what indicators do you like what which charts do you use so come on guys, don't be shy. If you're here, get in, jump in. I'll be happy to answer your questions and I really wanna hear what you guys trade as well. Okay, so Jolene asked me, what is a 610 tick chart? So unlike time frames, I use 610. So if you look right here, it says ticks remaining. Do you guys see that right here? All right, so each bar that I use has 610 ticks on it, meaning it is 610 transactions. What does that mean? So for me, I used to have tons of indicators, right? There was the volume indicator. I used others as well. So I ended up understanding that with tick charts is the transactions. Each one of these has 610 transactions going on. That means in real time, live, we are seeing right here, it goes down how many people are actually in and out of the market. This is probably the most real time volume that you will ever see, right? Do you guys see that? Look at that. And the volatility is really beautiful right now because it's right after lunch. This is a really good time to trade. Yesterday was FOMC, and FOMC obviously gave us some decent, um, I guess it's about confidence these days, right? Because with the coronavirus and just the markets and all this that is happening, we need confidence, right? I mean, the market tanked almost a thousand points with the S&P, and now it's headed back up. So, you know, it's a good thing. So right now the volatility is beautiful look at that movement every single time a new bar comes out that means a new 610 uh transactions are taking place what if i'm in a five minute chart and there's no real and there's barely any movement it's not as accurate as in the moment seeing it right that's what i love to do it's how fast how much volatility is really happening and that's what 610 is right so i personally like the 610 transaction you could do any amount i used to also use the 1597 tick chart um which is um you know two and a half times more um on a longer scale right and i still enjoyed the ticks because it's so in the moment it's so watching it right there okay so let's talk a little bit about my um so billy uh, okay billy i see you have a question why not 600 so when you start when i started eight years ago i had an academy i was part of an academy and that's what they were using was the 610 and when you devote so much of your time to learning you just kind of um you you really need to make that work right it's i don't know it's kind of like when if you're playing a musical instrument you learn a certain way from a certain teacher and it becomes it be, becomes something they understand so then what you really want to do if you really want to master it you focus on that one right so i did play around with other charts which was the 1597 tick chart and then the 233 tick chart and they're just a little bit the 233 was a teeny bit more uh 
Technical analysis is the only way I trade, Jolene. I do not have anything else going on. <laughs> it's pure 100% technical analysis. Absolutely. And I think it works even better that way. So um, anyway, so what I did is before I had, I, I like to call it like my breakdown, which happened like six years ago when I lost a ton of money, I had to quit the whole thing. I used three charts. I was working off three charts. One was the 233 which is a smaller time frame, my 610, which is my main time, uh, my main tick chart, and then a 1597, which is that two and a half longer tick chart. Um, and what I ended up noticing was if I put the EMA lines, so right here, you'll see I have three EMA lines. So what is an EMA line? It's an exponential moving average. So my 610, which is right here, this is the main one I use, and here, I'll show you guys. I use the 52 period time frame. What is that? That's 52 weeks, right? It's a year. So that's my main one. And then for the 233, because it's like a, it's like um, what is it? A third of my 610, more or less, right? A little bit less than a third. Um, so that one was 20. I put in of the EMA line from the 233, which is pretty much as accurate as if I was looking at a 233, and I made it into the 20 EMA. And then what I did was for my 1597, I also put it here, and that's 135 period. So that's two and a half years worth of average, exponential moving average, right? And so this is, and I combine them all together, and I recognize that this is the best way for me to trade. Right. And I now I literally am off of just this one chart. Everything I do is off of my one chart where I see all of my trades and it's fantastic. My other main indicator and one that I cannot live without is my MACDs. I find the MACDs to be the least lagging indicator there is. Right. Because what happens is a lot of indicators, they lag a little bit. Like, for instance, with the ticks. There is no lagging. I know exactly what is going on. I know that right now it just went from 600 to 200 transactions, right? I mean, 400 transactions in seconds. That means the volatility is amazing. I also know with my MACDs, when I start to notice uh, divergence, that's when I'm already seeing that the market is slowing down, that the weakness is starting to happen. And right here is a perfect example. There's many of these that I look at right here. You see, it's starting, it's pretty strong here, right? Because the way the MACDs are is, hang on, let me show you here. The MACDs are broken up with this dotted line. If you notice this dotted line, that is the zero, right? So if you're hanging out on the zero, that means the weakness of the market is really there. Like right here, looks like it's not really going anywhere. It's, it just goes up a teeny bit more and then it, can, it heads down, right? So what if it's above, I put this in myself, this is not an actual indicator, it's just for me to be helpful. When I have this line and I see that the market is hitting here, that means that there's enough strength in the market for me to be able to be really into that market already. And when I'm noticing that there is divergence happening, that's when I'm already sitting out. I'm a very conservative trader. So when I start to notice divergence, I also know that once that divergence happens, there's a very high chance of it stopping me out. So, like I mentioned several times, I am a scalper. What is a scalper? So, scalper looks for smaller targets in a much faster time frame. So, you can see that my chart is split up into grids, right? You can see it. When you're trading the E minis, when you're trading the E, um, the e minis, it is done by points. Each contract uh and contracts right so you can put in one contract or 10 or a million however you want to do it right so um and i go for one point so right here this is about one point in the e-minis is worth 50 dollars okay um again billy you're asking why do i use the ema because this is something that i was taught when i first began and now i have completely used it and understood it and i absolutely love it Yes, Billy. Everything you're going to do is comes from somewhere, right? We all go to school and the ideas happen from somewhere. We could either completely go off on a different way and learn from somebody else, or we could really get and understand what's happening. So your probably system happened without maybe even you understanding completely, but somebody gave you an idea and you kind of 
took to it and you'll be like, oh yeah, this makes sense to me. So this makes total sense to me. Um, so hopefully that makes sense to you. <laughs> okay, so here is the market. Now, what I want to um, what I want to talk to you guys about is how do I watch the market? And like what I've mentioned to you before, how important for me is the understanding support resistance areas, understanding the trends. Okay, so basically this has been going on because I'm only doing um, intraday. I only pretty much watch the day what is happening during the day i only focus on technical analysis so i start to see like for instance if i just came into the market right now right so i'm noticing that the market has been headed up it has been the overall momentum for the day has been going up i mean it's a significant momentum right i mean we're going up here we had a little bit of a slowdown this is um in this morning because i am um two hours behind the market was high it headed down then it kind of became up again it's trying to hit the high of the day then it's going back down so on a longer view you can see that this was actually a sideways market because the market respects areas so this is now a support area that i am definitely interested in watching right i don't know where it's going to go or what but it's just something that i know is there so i'm putting it here and if the market continues and hits that support area i'm already aware of that right i'm already prepared for this but however in the meantime i have so much room to watch and if it does go down that means it's given me a downward trend so now i've looked at the overall market from before hang on a second let me just do that um given me from before so i understand that during um the, the day it's been kind of bouncing back and forth from the high and now what i'm seeing is it came to a strong resistance area and that is definitely an area that is strong and i want to understand so when i am seeing it because a lot of times we wonder how do we start to spot those sideways movements right so here's how I start to spot it. First of all, there was a mini resistance area here, which moved. I call these moving resistances because that happens a lot. However, I would probably be looking into this breakout. But at this point in the live market, and it's all about the live market, I'm seeing the market is going up. It tried to go down, gave me massive divergence. That means it really, it's not breaking to the downside yet, right? All right, now it's headed back up. Oh, okay, cool. But then it started, it hit that same area. At this point, I would not have had the resistance area drawn yet because it was just that one hit. However, when it hit it again, I would be already, I would already be interested in this. So I would already draw this area. It's just a precaution. It's just understanding what's happening, right? Yeah, because all of a sudden I'm seeing that it hit it here. Oh, and it's hitting it there. Oh, wait, it tried it again now i definitely know i am in a strong resistance area and now what i do is i sit and wait so i never want to predict what the market is going to tell me because that is not for me to do i cannot say oh okay the market now has been going up it's going to continue up or the market's been going up and it's going to correct itself no what i do look at right now is when i'm sitting here and i'm watching this happen i am looking at two different possibilities one possibility the market can break out and go and continue north then i will be looking for a breakout trade or the market could now head down so now i will be looking for all the confirmations of headed down okay so this is where i'm sitting and watching and what happened oh it broke through awesome at this point I'm not putting in a resistance area because for me, all I'm looking at is a breakout trade because all I see is that the market now broke out and awesome. That means it wants to continue. I'm seeing massive, massive strength and no divergence at all in my MACDs. I am going to be looking all over for that breakout trade, right? I'm going to be watching, watching for it. Oh, and I would definitely be filled right here because I take my trades off of this line of oh, this is EMA and this EMA, boom. I go for one point. One point is a box, and I would have been instantly filled 
if you go in with one contract, that's 50 bucks. If you go in with 10 contracts, it's 50, it's 500 bucks, right? Boom, I'm done. That's what scalping is. It's a quick one, okay? And now I'm sitting and watching to see what's going on. There's still massive strength. There's still not that much divergence. Okay, now it hit back to this area. I would definitely be interested in this trade as well because that's my next trade that I'm looking at. And I would be waiting, order waiting. That means I am already sitting and waiting for this particular trade to happen. Okay, boom, I got in, I got my one point, and now it's telling me that it doesn't want to continue that way. But the, that's the beauty of scalping. One point, one point, guys, bam, it was that one bar. That's all it was. 50 bucks right there per contract, depending on how much you use. And now I'm sitting waiting because at this point, I do not like what's happening. It's completely went below here. I am not interested in this particular trade anymore, any more trades at the moment. I already had my two, I'm good, boom. Now I sit and wait. And now it's just really messy. It's ugly, it's hanging out of the area. There's absolutely no strength going on. And it went down. All right, cool. So now what I'm looking at is, I wanna see if there's gonna be some serious movement to the downside because it tried to break through. It did not really do well. If anything, it gave me a little bit more of an area right here. Um, and it didn't really break through. Oh, but it tried. Hmm, it's not continuing. This is how you read the market. So again, this is now my resistance area. This is that language. Now, what am I seeing? I'm seeing complete slowdown. I'm seeing that it's trying to break through. I'm seeing a sideways movement right this is how you start to spot those sideways markets and this is how you know what you have to you're sitting and waiting for so now at this point i would put it around here because this is my resistance area and now i'm just waiting again for two things to happen in the oops, i'm waiting for two things to happen in the market is it going to continue going up is it going to continue or is it going to completely go down and that's what I'm sitting and I'm um, waiting for, right? And that's when I see this beautiful drop, beautiful confirmation right here. And this is when I would start to look for the down trends, the shorts, because look at this spacing here. Look at all this movement. This is what I'm looking at right now. All right, guys. So this is pretty much how I view the markets pretty much. So understand what is going on. And let me see if there's any more questions here. Um, okay, I, I don't see any. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. So basically, I'm going to go back to my presentation here. And I, Jen, I want you guys, if you go to makingofadaytrader.com, you'll be able to get all of the, the language that I pretty much use, meaning that I watch for support, resistance areas. If you guys don't know how to draw in a support and resistance area, please don't go live because it's kind of like you getting into the car and not understanding how to put your car into drive or how to put your car into reversal. Those, that's how important those two are. Yes, so you, um, I'm getting a question here about my MACDs. The MACDs that I use are just basic um, universal settings. Hang on a second here. I'm going to indicators. Um, right here. So my fast is 12, slow is 26, and the smooth is nine. These are universal free, um, free indicators. What the way the MACDs though usually are is they are broken into three parts. When you put on your MACDs, you would have three lines going through them. You have an average you have a difference, and then you have the actual MACD. Because I don't like too much noise, I prefer to keep everything simple. My average is, I put it into transparent. I don't wanna see it. I do not care about the difference. All I'm looking at is my MACDs, and that's the little red dots that you're seeing here. That's all I need to know. I need to know if there's strength in the market and if there's divergence, and that's the best thing that I found. And I've tried it with the difference. I've tried it with the average. I don't enjoy it. I like simple, and that's it. That's how it works for me. And you guys could use that pretty much any MACDs on any softwares. Okay, here's a really good example right away of a slowdown, right? So here there's no divergence, but from here to there, there's massive divergence. And now what did I, about, the, what is this? Head and shoulders. 
And now I'm looking to see what it's going to do if it's going to uh, cross over and give me strength to the upside, because not only do I have divergence, but I also have a pretty strong divergence area and a really strong head and shoulders. And look what's happening here. It's giving me some serious, beautiful strength to the upside. All right, guys, I am here to help. You could always find me on the traderchick.com. And again, you could get all this completely free, free cheat sheet, making of a day trader.com. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know. And I am here to help. And Josh, I see that you say that you only trade Forex futures. Yeah, I prefer. Um, and with futures, I only do e-minis because futures is a very big uh, market space. And it's really good to just focus on one instrument, guys. You know, you, if your kid came to you and said, hey, I want to play musical instruments, you'd say, which one? And if they tell you piano, guitar, and flute, you'd wonder why are they doing so many at once? So the same with, with um, trading. It's really good to just focus on the one. All right, guys, let me know if you have any more questions. Again, makingofadaytrader.com. And thanks, Anna, so much for having me. And enjoy your time in uh, your houses. <laughs> really getting to know my house really well <laughs> and loving it. All right, thank you again, everybody. Bye.